Wow, when you, uh, the thing is, is that when you go ahead and you have like a, too many intros, too many buttons, and then you ended up pushing the wrong button. So anyway, guys, welcome everybody to a special Friday edition of Roby Tech Live. It is going to be an absolutely awesome show. I am very excited to have you here. And huge shout out to Intel, MSI, and Newegg for sponsoring today's video that we are going to be giving away. It's not a video, it's a live show. We are gonna be giving away an MSI Stealth um, today on the show. I need to get these, so let me get this up here real quick, guys. So we have some sub goals, and here's what's basically going on here. I'm gonna turn these on each one of them. Okay, good, it's there. Let's check the side camera. It's there, okay, cool. So here's what's essentially happening, is we are gonna be giving away an MSI Stealth, a $1,200 laptop that we're gonna be giving away at the end of the show. But if you basically do things like uh, gift subs, et cetera, uh, during the show, then we will upgrade this laptop a little bit at a time. So we'll add an additional one terabyte of storage, and then we'll add 32 gigs of RAM, and then we'll add a two terabyte NVMe drive to give away an even more epic uh, laptop at the very end of the show. So that is what you're working with. So, at, and also remember, up for grabs, let's, uh, let's turn it back off and turn it back on here. Up for grabs is this beautiful, um, for the month of, for the month of, uh, uh, what is it, February and March, we're giving away this beautiful Project Zero MSI system. So as you sub, you also get additional entries towards winning this beautiful desktop back here. And you, and remember, subs get extra entries towards the giveaway. And guess what? On Tuesday, we're back with Intel and Origin, and we're giving away a $5,000 desktop PC. So that's gonna get you additional entries towards that as well. So lots of things we're subbing here at uh, here at Roby Tech because you're gonna have a chance to win some really, really epic stuff, uh, including that special edition Spring Sakura Origin PC, as well as this beautiful Stealth laptop from MSI today. So what is happening today? What is happening today? Uh, we're gonna have a really, really great show. We are gonna show you a series of laptops from the team over at MSI. And these laptops range in every way from $5,500 all the way to $1,200. And we're just gonna talk to you guys about laptops and all the different things to keep in considerations, and then give you a smattering of different laptops, how they perform, show you benchmarks, show you how to upgrade them, all that sort of stuff. So you essentially walk away with a very, very in-depth knowledge of what's happening uh, when you purchase a laptop and all that sort of stuff. And you guys, it's basically up to you guys. If you wanna answer questions, all that sort of stuff. By the way, we're about to hit a hype train. Remember, that unlocks a bunch of other giveaways too. Uh, so if we wanna just unlock that hype train real quick, that'd be awesome. That, uh, by doing this, we're gonna give you better knowledge and a better understanding of the different things to go on and the different things that you'll need when you're basically purchasing laptops. So it's gonna be a really great show that culminates in us giving away a really ap uh, uh, epic laptop at the very end of this, which is actually pretty cool. Subbing is necessary to have a chance to win. No, you do not need to be subbed to get a chance to win. You get additional entries if you subscribe, but everybody is eligible to win. This is not a sub-only giveaway. Now, to win that PC back there, yes, it's sub-only. That gets you, if you subscribe with uh, Amazon Prime, you get one entry. Tier one, you get three. Tier two, five. Tier three, 10. That's the sub-only PC giveaway, but that's in the bonus because you're just here to win. So there's all sorts of things. Now, let me tell you about the other giveaways that are happening here on the show today. First and foremost, if we get 250 likes in the YouTube video over at youtube.com slash Live, uh, and we get 250 likes, we give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get a level five hype train, we give away a $25 new A gift card. And then at the last thing, of course, uh, if we get a level 10 hype train, then we give away $100, basically PayPal cash, whatever you wanna do. So it should be pretty awesome. But I think, I think it's gonna be a really, really epic show. Really excited to have you guys all here and all that sort of stuff. Icy Sniper dropping his prime sub as well. And guys, 36 seconds. Somebody just drop one more sub real quick and we'll hit a hype train and then we can unlock another thing. It could be 100 bits, 30 seconds, and then we'll get started on this as well. So. Uh, and then hit, go over it and hit that like. There we go, Retro dropping his, and there we are, guys. We are now officially in a hype train. Remember, if we get to level five, we'll drop a $25 new A gift card. And I have all the upgrades for this laptop that we're gonna be giving away and showing off right here. So it's already ready. At the very end of this, when we get to the end of this thing, I will literally upgrade it here live on the show, basically show you it upgraded, and we'll give that away at the very end, which should be pretty cool. So there we go, choo-choo, all aboard. Let's get to level five, and then go from there. So 
Let me, I also have on the chat, we have Damien, Pastor Damien, who I, I, a good friend of mine, who uh, is going to be here just because he has a lot of knowledge of these laptops. He just got finished doing a filming on these. So we're actually going to have him here. So we're going to walk through each one of them individually and make sure that you guys have a good knowledge of what's happening and all that sort of stuff. So it should be pretty epic, but yeah. Uh, cover the screen specs like you did in the monitor stream you did a few weeks ago. I feel like everyone can learn a lot from the differences and such between laptops. Yes. Count it, we will absolutely make sure that we cover the screen specs. We'll talk about uh, QHD plus versus UHD plus versus four, you know, true uh, UHD uh, versus, yeah. So we'll go through all that sort of stuff to make sure that we cover that as well. Hey, what's up, Bill Bear? It's good to see you. How is everybody doing? I think everybody's having a good time. Uh, what's up with MSI truncating the numpad to three? Sometimes it's just about fitting as much as they can on the, uh, in the number pad and all that sort of stuff too. So you can, Sean Kelly, you can watch wherever you want. As long as you're on Twitch and YouTube, you're good to basically you're eligible to win. As long as you're on either one of them, you're basically good to go. So yeah, shout out from Detroit. Wow. I'm glad you're still alive. And then remember guys, if you drop your prime sub, guys, let's get to level five. Remember, if we get to level five, then that just means that we're gonna upgrade the laptop that we're gonna give away here at the end. So going in there, high country, dropping a thousand bits. Thank you very much. So there we go, a thousand bits, almost to level three right now. And then we're gonna go from there. Faith makes a way drop in tier one. And there we go, now we're eight. Remember, if we get to 75, then we'll upgrade to a one terabyte NVMe. So, uh, oh, I, I'm blue. You know, it's funny. I, you know, I actually had a conversation about the, um, I had a conversation with teams about the, um, the way that that works. Um, and a lot of them, uh, said that there was a lot of complaints when they cut the numpads out. So even though some people basically had that conversation, um, they, uh, they definitely, uh, mentioned that, uh, a lot of people still use the numpads when they're using laptops because they're still, they have a tendency to, even though they're portable for gaming, most people still use them, double use them as a productivity thing. And those, those numpads come in, in handy. People are asking, is it worldwide? Here's the deal with worldwide. It is US, Canada, Mexico. If you want to enter worldwide, we'll ship it to you as long as you pay for customs and for shipping. That's the way it always works. Yeah. I use mine. So external numpads, that is, a, I mean, guys, Bear to entry. It's just much easier if it's sitting right there. So yeah. And all the lit rules are listed on Discord as well. <clears throat> I'm team numpad. I like, like, I like on my mouse. That's what somebody says. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. Guys, level three, three minutes and 47 seconds. Let's just get this last two level hype, hype trains and we'll get sorted. Pull it maybe. Yeah, why not? We could do a pull for it. That'd be fine. While we're doing that, let's hit our, let's hit our hype train. We have three minutes. Let me start talking about the different laptops that we are talking about today. So first and foremost, the king of the laptops, we'll kick it off right here, the MSI 18 inch, 120 Hertz, the, eight, the Titan 18 HX. This is a $5,399 laptop. Um, so there's a, there's a lot to like about it, but it is also uh, pretty expensive, uh, you know, of course. Um, so just basically, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about it. For the specs, we have an Intel Core i9-14900HX. It does actually have more power draw than what we would typically see on other, you know, 14900HXs, because we're gonna show two 14900HX laptops today here on the show. Uh, for the GPU, we're using the RTX 4090 Mobile. Uh, it's got, um, it's the 4090 Mobile that has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Uh, for the display, and this is the important part. And then Damien, feel free to jump in at any point in time. Thank you, Chewbarka, for the sub, by the way. Uh, for the display, we're using an 18 inch UHD plus. That's 4K plus. Thank you very much, Cere Cerebral Paul, for the gifted subs. That's 18 inch UHD plus. That's 4K plus or 3820 by 2400. So when you see me talk about performance numbers here, when we show this stuff, you're like, you're going to be very impressed with how well this thing absolutely crushes at those things. Baba Ganoush dropping in as well. Uh, we have two, two terabyte, two, two terabyte NVMe drives installed. I'll show, we're gonna open this up, show you about the installation, all that sort of stuff as well. We have 128 gigs of 5,600 5, megahertz DDR5. Guys, That's 128 gigabytes. 128 gigs inside of this laptop. 
four sodium slots. You will, we'll show you a little bit later, but that is an absolutely, that is an absolutely ton of RAM uh, right there that we have inside of this thing. Uh, for the keyboard, we've got a mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX switches with Steel Series RGB control. By the way, that Steel Series, I mean, guys, you'll see me tap on it and stuff like that, but that keyboard is super, super nice. Touchpad, we have an RGB touchpad, which is actually a separate screen with haptic feedback, which I have no Igor, thank you very much for that. And there it is, I think we're at level five. Um, with RGB touchpad with haptic feedback, which means if we, as you touch it, like you do get feedback. Unfortunately, there's no way to show it. I mean, and maybe I can act like I get punched in the face or something like that. I don't, I don't know, any ideas that. there? That works. That works, okay. Oh, I don't think we're at level five. I think we're at level four. Hey, real quick, I want to go back to the storage here for a second. Okay, because tell I me about the storage, Damien. You go back to the storage. You run this yeah. show. Yeah. So uh, I believe that both of those drives are set up in a RAID 0 configuration as well. Oh, we'll have to look when, we'll, we'll see when we turn it on, yeah. I don't remember, yeah. but we can we can do, you can, we'll talk about expansion a little bit later. But guys, sure there's will. one PCI 5, two PCI 4 slots, and you've got Wi-Fi 7, which is killer Wi-Fi by the name. I just feel like they really wanted to use that name or something like that, which is actually pretty crazy. Um, I think, guys, we have to finish level five. We're almost done. So we're at the very end. We just got to get through this. We have a minute left and we're almost half, we're getting close to a third of the way towards upgrading the laptop in the first bit. Um, for the uh, connectivity, we have a lot and I'll show you guys this again. We have three USB 3.2 Gen 2. So we'll, let's go to top down here and we'll show this stuff off so you guys can essentially see it. This is it. This is a beefy boy, by the way, right? It's eight pounds. It's eight pounds, which is the weight of a human head. Hey, Jerry, did you know that a human head weighs eight pounds? So this weighs as much as your head, just as an FYI. Or a small bowling ball. But I like human head better. That's just, it's more reasonable. But, Does but it how, how many bananas is it? Huh? How many bananas is it? Oh, it's it's a lot of bananas. I don't even know how much, the, you know what? Damien can figure that out. That's what he's here for, uh, to help us figure uh, out how much bananas yeah. it is. So yep. for I'll, slots- I'll get right on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, turn yourself down a little bit, Kiltman. You're a little loud. Um, so for, we have an SD slot here. You have two uh, USB 3.2 type A ports. On the back, which is also very awesome, you have an RJ45. HDMI, this is the power connection for a freaking giant power brick, by the way, but it has a 400 watt power brick. Uh, and then you have two USB-C, another USB-A, and then a combo jack for your connectivity. So you can do HDMI 2.1, uh, that's basically 8K 60 hertz or 4K 120 hertz. You have two Thunderbolt 4 as well, which is those USB-C. And then you have one with power delivery 3.1. So a lot of connectivity on this beast at the same time. So I have an answer for you on how many bananas How it many bananas are we talking about? So the average banana is four to five ounces. So we're gonna, we're gonna call that 4.5 with the average. So on average, that laptop weighs 28.44 carry it on bananas. Okay, so that's 28.44 bananas. Correct. So, okay, yep. so here we go. This is it right here. Guys, we're almost, we gotta get that level. We're at the very end of this hype train. Let's finish the hype train out. Remember, how much time do we have left on the hype train? It's weird when I'm trying to do talking points at the same time, but two minutes, two minutes guys, we just got to get it done. So there's a banana right there for scale, guys. There's a banana for scale. As you can see, it's big. When you think about banana for scale here, you know, like we go in there, you know, that's that's it, a lot of it, bananas that you can put. Would, would you say that it is bananas, that it's a lot of bananas? It's it's not it, like it either. It, look, it like doesn't even like you could put more bananas than even the bananas I have. So I got lots of bananas, but it's, you can't get, you just gotta get, you can't get any more bananas than what I've already put on there right now. So there's all the bananas. Okay, so it weighs eight pounds or how many, 28, 28 bananas? 28.44 28. bananas. 28.44 bananas, okay. So people ask about this because this is important. Webcam, we have an IR FHD, so it's a 1080p, 30 frame per second with HDR and 3D noise cancellation. So, which is actually pretty cool. There's spatial stuff on that is pretty cool. Audio on this thing is bonkers. We have six speakers designed by Dyna Audio. It's got two speakers, two woofers, one combo audio jack, and it's got Niamic 3 audio control by SteelSeries. I'll, when I take this apart, I'll show you guys the speakers and stuff. Quick, quick correction on that. It actually has four, four, oh, four two-watt two. speakers. That's right, and yeah. Then, and then two two-watt woofers. 
That's what it is. Four two watt speakers and four two watt woofers, right? That's correct. Yep. Okay, there we go. It's got a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is the lot, the, like just to be super clear, that is the biggest battery you can legally fly with. Now we're talking about flying on a plane, not any other of that weird flying. Come on guys, 30 seconds left. We're at the very end. We just need to finish level five to unlock the 25, the $25 new a gift card. Somebody's just got to drop it. Nope, there it is. Sorry guys, you guys were at the close at the very end. The hype stopped. They were like, I'm more interested in the laptop right now. Well, don't worry, there'll be yeah, another chance, I'm sure. Um, okay, and then, like I said, that's 99.9 .9 watt hour for flying, not flying any other way. Like, this isn't like throw it at your dog kind of frisbee flying or anything like that. Um, and it's got a 40, yeah. And it's no, yeah, it, d hey, Zemo, it's gonna happen. Don't worry, we, we're just starting. There's lots of time here. Uh, we have a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery life, network connectivity, you have Intel, killer Wi-Fi 7, and it also has that beautiful 2.5 gigabit ethernet uh, port which, on the back as well. Also, which is also killer ethernet as well. Yeah, we, you know, which we don't know what's up with the killer. It has I, a do actually, I do actually know what's up with the killer. No, I just think the name is weird. Okay. It's, it has nothing to do with, I know why it's called killer. I'm just saying it's, it's I, I still don't think you should call Wi-Fi killer. So anyway, it's a 400 watt pat battery brick, dude. By the way, this thing is not, I mean, it's not small. Oh, I should get a banana for scale. I agree. You definitely need a banana for scale. This thing is about the width of a banana. 400 watts right there for the uh, for the battery, um, and there it is right there. So yeah, it's got it's got 400 watt battery, and then the retail price is 53.99. Now here's the fun part, guys. This is what you guys want to see. We're gonna open it up because that's. That's what makes this Robitech is we don't just work it. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it and all that sort of stuff afterwards, but let's open it up and show you the innards because then we can show like the battery and all that sort of stuff. But there it is, a Titan, which by the way, it's got like a 3D type. So like it sits off of the, um, the table. It's got lots of places for all the fans and stuff to pull in air on top of also being able to, uh, to um, it does a really good job with airflow is kind of my point, so yeah. Yeah, there, there are some interesting choices there with the venting that really helps with the airflow on this one. Yeah, yeah, yes, I think Intel did buy Killer, yeah, which is the name, but the thing was is that still, I still think it's just a funny name. How much banana power per watt? None, because bananas don't have power. Okay, so let's get our little screw pad here. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to upgrade, by the way. There we go. We'll get, it, we'll get it undone here in a minute. I would argue that the bananas have plenty of power around here as they've been on the live stream. So, I mean, yeah, that's not But nothing. I mean, like they don't, like I can't like plug the power into something. How much that's potatoes we have? We don't have any potatoes yet. Right now it's all banana power in here. Ring, 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 banana phone. They're radio, are, are the bananas I have, I don't think are radioactive. I don't think no, you got no. me. Okay, confirmed, not radioactive bananas, thanks. <laughs> Roby's not gonna die. I mean, to have enough that are radioactive is a very, very large number. Yeah, so people are asking, Roby, how do I win the laptop? You just gotta chill, hang out, it'll happen. This is one of those things you gotta be present. This is about enjoying the journey as we walk through these laptops, and you could walk away with a $1,200 laptop. There's no sign up. You just gotta be here, and at some point in time, I'll just say, you know what? Let's give away a laptop. When? I don't know. Please use monkey watts. No, we're giving away, uh, we are giving away the Stealth, the, uh, the MSI 15 Stealth is what we're giving away today. How do I win in life? Scully, that is a better question. And the answer That's is, the answer is hugs. That's really, that's the answer to everything. When in doubt, hug. Right? Does it, wouldn't yeah, you say? I, I think hugs. Uh, doesn't work with bears. I, I've hugged bears. It's been fine. Okay. okay. Uh, hugging bears. I mean, I mean, yeah. You, yeah. So to win in life, watch Roby Tech. That's Igor's thing. Okay. So all you do is you remove those screws, which by the way, they're all the same size, which is pretty awesome. So looking here at the side shot, you can actually see all of the screws 
are the actual same size. So in other words, you don't have to worry about, will this screw fit in this hole or anything like that? So it makes it really easy oh, nice. uh, to, uh, to take this bad boy apart. I will say it feels like on this laptop specifically, MSI has really kind of embraced the whole uh, right to repair thing, which is actually pretty cool. This is a magnet. Yeah, yeah it's a magnetic pad. Okay, so here we go. Just pull it off. Ooh, see, it comes off easily. And there we go. Now we are inside the laptop. You guys, we're inside the laptop right now. So showing the inside here. I'm gonna grab my zoom in to keep it going. Okay, so here is the laptop itself. As you can see, the cooling. Now, I was, I, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to, I could take these off and show you the cooling heat pots and stuff like that. But because they're numbered, I'm a little worried. Sometimes things can be pressure sensitive. So I'm not gonna remove those for the sake of this laptop is 50, almost 55, over 5,500 bucks. So let's not do anything that's absolutely crazy. But what we have right here is you can actually see we have our 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. Speaker, speaker. Oh, sorry, speaker, speaker, woofer, woofer. And then I think, I'm trying to see if there are other speakers. I know there was those two here. You said there were four, Damien. I see two. Yeah. They might be on the other side. Oh yeah, they could be underneath. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're just proving that Damien didn't necessarily lie. So that could have been a thing. It could have been a thing. Okay, so what we have right here is we have, this right here is our Gen 5 NVMe slot. So popping this open. There's our, this is a Gen 4 NVMe drive, but there's your one, one right there. They're actually covered by heat spreaders, like some metallic, um, almost like a metal cover to cover it up, and then you put that in. This is an empty one, but you can put an NVMe drive here, and then you have a second NVMe drive right here, and then here's your Wi-Fi 7. Uh, for RAM, get ready. Here it is. A little bit of, little bit of craziness there. Just open that up. Oh. Look at that, there you go, there is the RAM. We have 128 gigs of RAM right there. So four SODIMs uh, to go in here and they're all rated at 5,600. So there's one and then you have another one basically underneath this and you can do up to four. So pretty easy there. And then it casts expansion for up to 192 gigabytes of RAM. That is that is such an ungodly amount of RAM, I just have to say. It's if 128 gigs wasn't enough, right? Yeah. Right. Tom says, I need to hear the clicks. Okay, here we go. It's it's pretty quiet. It's it's not very clicky. Yeah, it's 128 gigs. Now, uh, you did ask, it's like, it says it runs at 5,600 megahertz. Whoa, not locking in. We're going to reseat this. There we go. There we go. We did not see it running at 5,600. And remember guys, this does not have XMP. So there is no XMP profile for SODIMs. They just run it, they, at, they, it basically finds its clock based on the chips on the memory. So this, this, this runs at whatever speed based on what it can do in terms of being um, stable, et cetera. So, um, but yeah, this is the, uh, th that's the insides of this whole thing. So let's turn it over and start looking at performance of this very, very, Amazing laptop. Is there anything else you guys want to see or did I did I do a good job? I think those are the big the big things to point out as far as upgradability goes. That's that's one of the things that was really impressive to me when looking over this is that um, you know, it it has room for it's it's got a lot in it, you know, for for being a $5400 laptop. There's a lot that's that's gone into this thing. Uh, but the fact that they made it so accessible is is really a uh, a testament to embracing that right to repair yeah. for the user. And I, I would hope that at a laptop at this level that you would have. Oh, I forgot the like RAM that. cover. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, I just left it off to the side there. Thank you for catching that. So yeah, the thing is, is that you're right. Okay, that was you're right. That was an incorrect statement. They you most laptop manufacturers do not support XMP. So most of them use the register timing that are on the chips themselves. Remember that's something they added with DDR5. There are they read the profiles on there and then they find an applicable timing that runs based on stability. So that's something that's unique to DDR5. It was a little bit different with DDR4 where all of them would just run at 3600 megahertz or whatever it was. So there are different timings, but there are as far as I have tested and I've tested quite a few laptops, 
I've yet to kind of find one that actually does like XMP um, and using XMP specifically. So, and there's not all of them have really nice BIOSes, but you know, that's the thing. Okay, there we yeah, go. To answer the question about, about weight, the um, this thing weighs 7.9 pounds. So it's about, about eight pounds. Um, it's a human or head. A, or 28 bananas. Or 28 bananas, or a human head. Or a human head. Or a bowling ball. Or a bowling ball. Did, human did head. You know, did you know that uh, when shopping for a bowling ball that it should be about 10% of your body weight? Jeez, I need like a 600 pound bowling ball then. <laughs> well, it's up to a certain, a certain weight, but that's what I discovered in researching this. You thought I was gonna talk about laptops and I'm talking <laughs> to you about bowling balls. How did we get here? Okay, I do want to address the elephant in the room. And uh, a first and foremost, thank you for being a subscriber, Mr. Elephant. I'm just kidding. There's no elephant in the room. Um, but I do want to talk about people are like the battery life. This is not a laptop. This is not a laptop that you are buying for battery life. This is not an ultrabook, guys. This is a laptop that is literally a portable workstation. Um, they, and you know, whether you need it or not, I always have this conversation about value. Value is completely unique to the person. So it's uh, like, if you're somebody who doesn't travel, like, you know, like I do, and uh, doesn't necessarily need to worry about playing games in remote locations or someplace in a hotel or whatever it was, this may not be the laptop for you and that's okay. Um, but sit there and saying like, this laptop is for people who wanna do who, who may want to do have a high-end gaming stuff set up, but also do heavy workloads like compiling, editing, um, base, I, like some of our editors, basically because they live in multiple locations, take things like this so they can do full job, full on rendering. Because I mean, this thing runs at, the, and you'll see this, it runs like a 4080 desktop C, uh, GPU um, in terms of rendering, et cetera, and all that sort of stuff. So understand, even though you're like, hey, the battery only lasts 30 minutes when unplugged, it's, it's not really meant to be unplugged. I mean, again, it's meant to be plugged in uh, because it's meant to be something that people can take on the go. Now, some people yeah. are like, hey, Roby, you know, why not just bring like a mini desktop or like a, like a small form factor PC? You could do that as well, but a monitor, keyboard, and all that sort of stuff, uh, as somebody who drags that around, and, and you know what, honestly, Damien's seen this as, as yeah. have many people who've uh, been with me to like QuakeCon and stuff like that, that that pelican that I carry around with all that stuff, <laughs> that's a hundred pounds. This it's, is a human it's, head. It's that's a human. Healthy. It's a kid. body. That's a body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's that's a big difference in terms of what you have to walk around with. So it's just I like that thing around CES. I know how heavy that yeah, is. Yeah. So I mean, it's just yeah. So there, there is a comment that I, I do wanna make a, about battery life a little bit later on when we start talking about the vector and the, um, and the stealth, because there is, this, there is this consideration that you have to make, and you, you touched on it when you talked about value, where you, know, you have to answer the question for yourself uh, of what's what's the most important thing to you yes. for the needs that you have for this device, right? And and some of the la uh, the the other two laptops that we're going to look at, and we'll get to that that conversation. But those other two laptops do a really good job of of answering that question of how do I still get power in a portable, but have battery life so it doesn't just last like thirty minutes and go from there. And that's the thing that's important. People are like, what's the point? There is still, I mean, like there, there is a battery saver mode on this laptop. You can still, like if you needed to pull it out, do some quick like outlook, all that sort of stuff, and just did some light computational work in battery mode, which seriously reduces the overall power draw, the CPU and all that sort of stuff. You could probably get two, three, four hours of battery life out of something like that if you were doing minimal tasks. Like, but the thing is, is that if you're thinking of this as like, I'm gonna go on battery and go, you know, edit and produce and put together a 4K Robitech video, then I just feel like you kind of, I mean, again, it's meant to be plugged in in that regard. So yeah, um, yeah. yeah. You, you're, you're leaving a lot of power on the table when you do that. Yes, so it's a laptop in the fact that you could still put it on your lap. It, 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 you can still basically, 
uh, do, you know, like workstation casts. But like if you're somebody who's like going from meeting to meeting to meeting, which don't get me wrong, dude, I used to know project managers and PMs and producers who worked at, at Xbox who used to walk from meeting to meeting with things like this because they needed it to be able to play the builds in the games. And they still used it like a regular, you know, they would sit there and for the entire meeting, they would sit there and use it like a regular laptop versus like all the marketing guys and stuff like that. They all had like ultra books, you know what I mean? Like Dell ultra books or thin, you know, thin books or sorry, think pads and stuff like that as well. So it's just really, it really kind of comes down to what's important to you. So yeah. So anyway, let's go and turn it on now because that's what you guys want to see. Let's, uh, let's give it some, let's give it some juice with this 400 watt power supply. While you're doing that. While you're doing that, Starry Messenger 256 asks, will laptops ever have CPUs or GPUs that are upgradable? You want oh, to talk about that's that? That's already a thing, guys. So there are there is a company and they're called Framework. And Framework uh, and also Alienware did it as well. Um, yep. uh, I think I, Asus might have as well. Um, created laptops that have interchangeable, they basically have interchangeable parts that allow you to upgrade CPU modules, upgrade connectivity, uh, upgrade Wi-Fi, upgrade GPU, upgrade CPU and all that sort of stuff. Um, and so uh, there are there are companies and there have been laptops, but to be honest, like when I actually had those conversations about how those things have gone outside of framework, which I think is beginning to be the first one that seems to be relatively successful, um, have, they just didn't take off. Like there just wasn't a lot of demand. And the other thing too is, it's kind of like people's concern with back compat systems, right? Yeah. If, if you, you know, once you're done with it, if like you have like a 4060 mobile GPU, it, like who do you sell that to? Only other people who can upgrade. So because there's no standard between different laptop manufacturers, it makes it really hard to create up, up, upgradable interchangeable parts. You know what I mean? Like we need like the Henry Ford, like almost like what's happening now with with MSI and Asus with Back Connect to create a standard. And then because of that standard, you probably have a higher chance of having stuff that could be upgradable. So yeah. <clears throat> Good points. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go to top down here and get ready to see. So this screen and we talk let's let's talk about screen so we we've talked about buyer guides because there's a couple things we like to talk about actually you know what damien why don't you talk about the r's because the yes. r's are something that's actually pretty important when we talk about combinations of hardware so this is a 14900 hx with additional power draw and a full 4k screen but why don't you give them the the 411 on the r's yeah, yeah. So when you are shopping for a laptop, it's really, really important that you look at these four things. And I'm a guy that likes alliteration. Roby knows that and he hates when I put those things in scripts. So uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and talk about those here. So there's there's uh, resolution. Uh, so it's technically four R's because it's resolution, refresh rate and ratio or, or aspect ratio. So when you when you look at the resolution of your your screen, you want to match that to the hardware that is in the machine. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense to have a 4K display in a laptop that has like a 4050, 4060, um, uh, you know, GPUs that, that will wheeze when you try to run games on them. Um, we really like 1440p plus or QHD plus. Uh, when it comes to a, a laptop display, because it does balance the performance between the the GPU and CPU, so you want to be you want to you want to pay attention to that. Like as far as as far as resolution goes, refresh rate is is one of those things. While there are two different values, looking at average frame rates in the games that you're playing based on this hardware, uh, as, alongside of the refresh rate, can be very very helpful. Uh, you having screens that have things like variable, ref like it doesn't have to be like perfect right on, like having variable refresh rate is fantastic uh, to, to be able to help out with, uh, to, with, with that and reduce things like screen tearing and, and motion and, and stuff like that. Um, and, then, and then ratio, aspect ratio, we're seeing a lot more laptops that um and and i want to real quick i want to take a quick sidebar uh quirky respectfully disagree low res laptop displays can cause eye strain so people it's important uh um so ppi is important for minimum requirements hey you're absolutely right you know that's a that's a good point to, to be made there too 
uh, again, you know, look at the specs for what you need. Um, you know, on average though, sometimes we've hold, seen- Hold on, I wanna be really careful about that because the other thing too is understand that we are talking about in the category of gaming laptops, right? There is definitely, if you're looking at a gaming laptop and you're like, hey, I'm gonna buy a 4K gaming laptop with a 4060, that like that, if you're looking at it from the aspect of gaming, that is a terrible combination. And the other thing too is for the most part, even at 1080p, which I mean, a lot of laptops have 1080p, 1080p, in terms of the studies that they've basically done, 1080p doesn't cause a ton of eye strain versus 1440p or 4K. In fact, most of the time, you actually, what they found is most people balance the size of the text to be the same between the three different resolutions, even with the pixel density. So I think what you're talking about is a lot of times where you actually might see eye strain is because of the type of monitor you're using, whether that's VPN, T TN, oh, sorry, uh, uh, I, 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 sorry, I meant IPS, I, TN, yeah. and uh, uh, what's the other one? CRUD, vertical. It's VA. Yeah, VA. So those can actually have a higher increase in your eye strain versus the actual screen resolution themselves. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't think of what it was. So again, what, I'm not saying that, the other thing too is I will say from a productivity standpoint, there are people who need 4K laptops on like, for instance, like we have a 1600p laptop with an integrated graphics card in the Prestige 16 AI. That is a very different thing when you talk about when I'm doing presentations or I'm doing light editing or, or photo editing and stuff like that where you might have enough power using something like a uh, integrated graphics or even a low powered discrete graphics card. But when you're talking about things that are mobile workstations and stuff like that, then buying something that's underpowered, not only is it can't push just the power to the screen in general, but for the most part, you're, you're, you're kind of neutering the rest of the tech is kind of my point. All right, I appreciate the point. Uh, last point, last R, uh, ratio or aspect ratio. We're, uh, we're seeing a lot more modern laptops use uh, 16 by 10. Uh, instead of 16.9 or 16 by nine. And, and some of that is just maximizing the space that you're working with, right? Like you have in a, in like a, a 16 inch display, getting that extra vertical real estate in uh, in a screen uh, can, can be nice to have as far as like the real estate that you have to work with. Um, so, uh, so were there three or four of those R's? Uh, technically it's three categories, but there are actually four R's, so. So yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. So again, it, it, again, it's just it's like it. Uh, you know, again, there's always a lot of nuance in here. But when we talk about we talk about you know the generalizations, right? Because even the Zig PC is basically saying you ha has some great great points, right? We're talking about for most consumers, I'd say. 90 plus percent of consumers who are out there purchasing cards, uh, purchasing laptops, these rules of thumb apply. When you start getting into stuff like CAD users, people who are doing 2D content creation or you know vector graphics or AI stuff or things like that, that starts to get outside of the wheelhouse of what we consider like our core conversation. So of course, there's anything that I could say that you guys might be like, you're wrong, you're right. For some certain sect of those individuals, you're absolutely right. But I think the thing that we're trying to give you is just give you some general guidelines. And then if you know if you're different, then it may take some additional research and that's okay. I do not pretend to know everything about everything and be able to be able to pick every perfect laptop for every individual. But I can say that for most people, I can give you enough guidelines that you walk into Newegg or you order off Newegg, that if I give you these things and tell you about them, you'll more than likely find a laptop that's gonna do what's right for you. So yeah. <clears throat> The most, yes, most consumers, it would be awesome if MSI and Asus made creator laptops targeted to that market. 4060s with 4K displays would be awesome for this market. They, ZigPC, there are still 4K displays with 4060s. The problem is, and, and this is the thing, is if you're in a niche market, it always gets hard, right? Because at that point in time, they're not selling enough for that configuration to make sense. So it, it, always, it always makes it a little bit rough, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's the other thing with like prosumer, like running studio drivers, which I mean, again, there might be places with running studio versus 
uh, your game ready drivers, etc., that are go from there. So somebody asked real quick, guys, they were like, hey, Roby, again, what are the specs that are inside of this? The one that we're talking about today is right here. This is the MSI 18 inch 120 hertz mini LED, which I, I'm gonna try and show you this screen as best that I can, but it's got a Core i9-14900HX. It's got an NVIDIA RTX 4090 mobile laptop GPU, 128 gigs of DDR5 RAM, four terabyte of storage, which we said was in RAID, we'll find out right now which is in a RAID configuration. Yep, so we have RAID 0. Uh, and then we have uh, Windows 11 Pro. Uh, and then we also have, it's an 18-inch 3840 by 2400 UHD plus. Yeah, so. So people, I'm gonna try right now to show you just how bright this screen is because that's the thing is, this is always the hard part with um, showing laptops is letting people see screens, right? So. Again, the screen on this is, I, I, until you get to play on it, it's kind of like OLED. If you ever get a chance to go look at a mini LED display, it's very impressive at how bright this is. And we'll try and, I'll try and get a comparison to show, well actually, you know, we can show that right now. Let me just load up the Stealth so you can look at something that's not, and I'm not saying that this is a slouch, but at the same time, this is a $1,200 laptop versus, and this is the one we're giving away today, by the way, this one right here. So this is the laptop we're giving away today. So this is, so you can see the difference just in the brightness of the screens here in a minute. So even just right there, and it's not bad, it's just, it's different. So like, look at the colors, right? You know what I mean? Look at how even just the saturation and colors. So if I go hit Windows D here. Oh, I'm showing you guys nothing, I'm sorry. Let me show you this way. So. Here is, you can just see the difference between the colors on the two screens just by looking at the laptop side by side. So, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference between the brightness. That's not to say that this isn't a pretty screen. It's just the colors are gonna pop more, the blacks are gonna pop more. When you're gaming, especially some of the games that we're gonna show you guys today, when you're gaming on this thing, it looks really dang good. And then at the same time, the other thing too is like movies, etc. also just really pop when you're, uh, when you're using stuff like this as well. So it's very, very cool. Yeah, it's very clear. It's, the other thing too is having done a lot of productivity work on both of these laptops now, more this one than even this one. Um, you know, talking about eye strain, it just, it does really, one of the things that's nice about mini LED versus OLED, and this is stuff that's getting get better, is just the text rateability on mini LED is just a bit better, which would be nice. <clears throat> Zig PC yeah, says, that would be a great replacement for my Gen 1 Surface laptop with a cracked screen. I would agree. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at some performance numbers, just show you Cinebench, and just give you guys some ideas in terms of, uh, a couple things that this laptop actually does really, really well. And I'm gonna try, I can show you guys on screen. So I'm gonna pop on screen first and then we'll show you a little bit more from the outside using the camera. So let's pop into capture here. And then okay, we'll just go- be, Just go be ahead. careful with that power brick. It looked like it was a, it was a heading precariously towards the edge it's, of your- It's uh, on the edge there, right there for sure. Okay, so let's pop this open. We are gonna show you guys some Cinebench stuff and things like that so you can get an idea. Understand laptop G CPUs. Swear, I might as well just get this out of the way right now because I know people are like, it's it's thermal throttling. That's what they yes. do. In fact, AMD and Intel, even with the advent of 13th gen and 12th gen, have a tendency to really jump, and this is obviously a 14th gen, uh, they have a tendency to really jump up to the very, very top power. Um, Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, they jump. They jump up to. They try to run as warm as they can, and then they boost. So what you're not seeing is actually not thermal throttling. It's what's called boost throttling, and that's where you set. You do see it not boosting as hard. You probably are gonna see some thermal throttling here, where it will reduce clock speeds. We're gonna show you all that stuff in real time. I just want to make the language is a little bit more nuanced than where it was in some of the older stuff. So yeah, but let's go ahead and go into here. So here we go right now. And understand, this is gonna be warmer than a desktop, but I wanna show you how much power draw and all that stuff that's essentially happening with this uh, 14900HX. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Um, we're gonna make this wider. I don't know why this got so 
Okay, so there's our peak cores, and there's our temps right there. It's 77.58 right now. Let's go put it on a 10 minute, and then you guys are gonna, you guys will hear it. Now, decibel level on this is about 66 decibels, right? Isn't that where we are from a decibel standpoint? We can show you yeah. decibels from a top down and things like that. That's about as loud as a fighter jet. No, it's not. That's 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 a lie. How much? A vacuum cleaner. Huh? It's, as a vacuum it's cleaner? Like, it's not a vacuum cleaner. Yep. Somewhere between a dishwasher and a vacuum cleaner. I, I don't feel like dishwashers and vacuum cleaners are the same loudness. Is that true? They're close. They're close. It depends really? on the dishwasher. What kind of, my dishwasher's really quiet. I have old, I live in an older right. apartment, so. Yeah. Hey, Riddick, drop in the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, man. See you later. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this up. Multi-core. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me make sure, uh, before I do that, let's make sure that I'm on the right profile setting. I should be. I think I'm on AI. Which actually, I really actually like on this um, laptop. So there we go. We're coming out for 35. And then look, we are seeing some obviously throttling here because we were hitting 5.5 and now it's jumping down to 4.9. So there is some throttling there. But when we look at our score, it's 30,026. So that's about the same as a desktop 14.6 in terms of in terms of Cinebench score. So just giving you a relative idea. That's, uh, and it's actually higher than a desktop 7800X3D. So if you're looking at a 7800X3D, that's usually in the 25 to $27,000, $20,000. Wow, that's, 25 that's to 27,000 range, not dollars and stuff like that. So just giving you an idea in terms of what it is when relative power, you're gonna see that drop a little bit. We're gonna get, we might get just shy of 29,000, um, but look, that's the same as a Threadripper 2990WX, which is actually pretty crazy. <clears throat> so Armstead, that's actually a really great question. And I will say, um, yes, I think when you're doing a lot of, well, most people are doing gaming, but I have gamed on this laptop. I'm gonna actually show you that, where because when I, when I switched to the AI cooling method for this particular laptop, it wasn't that loud, which was actually, which would, which actually really kind of surprised me because I thought it would be a whole lot louder, but it didn't. It actually ended up not being that. So I'm going to show that live, right? Now I do want to go to top down here. We're going to, we're going to set it so you guys can see decibels, right? I, I want to make sure that you guys are seeing actual decibel level here. So right, like we said, right around 60. When I'm talking, it's 80, because I'm loud. Yeah, I have 66.1 recorded as the average. Yeah, which it, 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 I can't place it where it needs to be placed for you to be able to see it. So I'm giving you guys, it's not quite the same measurement. We actually have a tendency to put it right here, which gives you around that level, but I'm still, it's around that, showing it it's a little bit off to the side. So we can give that today. So, Sergeant, we are showing off a series of laptops and giving a laptop away today. So. so this is a laptop episode. So anyway, there you go. That is the power consumption and all that sort of stuff. So for this particular one, showing you power. And the, 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 so the touchpad will actually change colors. I'll show you guys that next because that's one of the other things that's actually really awesome about this particular laptop is all of the options for modifying it. So we'll go ahead and stop this. Let's go into here. Stop. <laughs> Close. Okay, now let's open up Steel Series. So this is all controlled by Steel, Steel Series GG. Hey guys, make sure you go and make sure you go and uh, make sure you go and uh, hit that hit that thumbs up, guys. We got to get to 250 to to unlock that giveaway. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the RGB keyboard stuff, and then you can go to Prism. So we'll show you some of these keyboard controls here. So you can already see I've clicked on Prism. Going to the top down. Look at that. It's so pretty. Now, 
This is a screen, so you're probably seeing some flickering. I will tell you, if you're not on camera, it doesn't flicker, but just be aware that there is some flickering here. Okay, so you, and they have a bunch of different colors. So you have like chasing ghosts and you can see kind of the lighting for that. Here's clown. They have purple haze, which just makes it purple. Um, you have freeway, which I don't know. Oh, it's show, you can see that it's actually what it's doing is it's doing lights across the like the whole way. So you can actually see it's like almost like Frogger. You have Prism, which is kind of like more like your transition one. Uh, they have radioactive glow. So this is like, if you were radioactive, apparently this is what you look like. Like if you ate too many bananas. Yeah, and then I like the self-destruct one, which is like, I, I don't know if it actually, it goes faster than it blows up. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> That's fantastic. And it goes boom, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's a bunch of really, there's a, there's a bunch of really cool colors. I've really liked the, um, what was the one that I did? It was called Color Fusion, I think is the one that I, I actually really kind of liked. And apparently there's a phase one. So apparently MSI and phase, so you can actually have like a phase one if you want. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different colors and you can change and change your apps and your per key, stuff like that. So there's a lot to kind of play with. I'm gonna make it radioactive glow. That just feels like the right thing to do. Okay. And that and that surface is flat, right? Like you can't oh, feel yeah, yeah. the edges of the, the touchpad. No, this is, and it's haptic, right? So like if, you know, looking at this and I'll, I'll go to the side camera here, but yeah, it's like absolutely, like it's flat, flat. Like there is like, it's, there's nothing like in terms of getting through this and stuff like that. It's actually really cool how, like if you had this off, you would not see the touchpad, which actually is kind of, I will say, a little bit uns uh, weird because like when you're trying to remember where it is, if there's no light, it, it, it does become a little problematic, um, which means you should just always use RGB, which makes you happy, right? Right, right. exactly. All right, so there is the RGB. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the one thing too, is because of this, they actually have some, some cool technologies here under features, the MSI AI engine. So this, what this does and what it does, which is actually pretty neat, is if you go to apps, based on the app that you have. So like if, for instance, if I wanted to add like a gaming app or whatever it was, it would actually changes your profile settings. So if I was gonna go to Windows and we'll go to Program Files and we'll go to, oops, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, and then we'll go to Games and let's grab Assassin's Creed. So we'll do that. So now when you have the AI on, and I, like if I launch Steam, you'll see over here in the corner, the profile will change. I think if I, I don't, I may not have turned on the graphic, hold on. Okay, there we go. So now when I go and I choose a gaming app versus a thing, well, maybe it's not showing, I don't know, it's, it doesn't look like it's showing up, but usually it'll show like gaming and then based on what you're playing, whether it's a work application, uh, it's, a, um, it's a game, etc. it'll change the light settings, it'll change the audio settings and the performance and fan settings to best fit uh, what you're, uh, for the experience, which when you were talking about gaming guys and you were like, hey, for gaming on this laptop, this one, I've actually played games where it was quiet, which actually blew my mind, and I didn't understand how it was doing the mysterious magic it was doing, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But before we get to that, let's go and throw some games at this so you guys can see what the performance is like for some titles that, like, you know, so you're like, how, how does this actually run? So let's kick it off first. Make sure we're all good here. Let's go and let's just launch something. Let's throw... Uh, let's throw Hogwarts Legacy at it first. And then you guys, I'll keep the meter out so I can show you when, as it's running, what our fan meter's at, which is actually pretty surprising. And then you'll also get an idea. I'll try and do the best I can to kind of give you an idea of how loud it gets, so. <clears throat> so the cooling, so Jeremy Napier, the Cinebench score on this one, when you're talking about the Cinebench score for this one, uh, uh, specifically is around 30,000. So it's the equivalent of a desktop 14.6.
So, and we have a dad joke request, so. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Okay, here we go real quick. And then, uh, hi Demon, I'll answer your question. My twin brother called me from prison. He said, you know how we finish each other's sentences? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I like that joke. That was a good one. Um, so AI, so the AI cooling, as far as I know, is actually handled at an application letter layer for MSI Center. Uh, I don't believe it's handled at the BIOS level. <clears throat> I do not have skull and bones right now. Ugh. Okay, so let's jump into the game here. <laughs> Fusion, I like that. It wasn't that bad. Wow, <laughs> that is that is a that is a chip. Roby's evil twin. Hey guys, make sure that you head over to youtubecom tech live Hit that thumbs up button so we can get to 250 and unlock that giveaway still. Okay, just waiting for shaders. Always waiting for shaders, it feels like. Every time. Every time, it just feels like we're waiting for shaders. Hogwarts Legacies, Call of Duty, just shaders for days, man. I just, I, why can't you just come thing? <laughs> uh, while the game loads, doing? overall tip, oh, you know what? Let's just show you. Let's just, uh, we'll, we'll load it up. Uh, I might be able to do that in a cool way, hold on. I always like to give you guys all of the bells and whistles to show you how Everything works. So I can tell you a little bit about averages while he's looking for that. Uh, when we did our testing uh, at idle, this uh, this laptop, the, the MSI Titan 18HX, uh, hovered around 54 degrees Celsius under 100% CPU load. Uh, that was just running Cinebench uh, for an extended period of time. We hit 93 on average, and then under gaming, the average was about 79. Okay, let's, here you go. So this is the laptop upside down. So we're looking about right there. So where you would touch your knees right here on the side, we're looking at 28 degrees Celsius at the hottest point right there. This right here is 44. That's actually pretty warm, but if you like, if if you have a big package, <laughs> you might get burned. Uh, and then over here, 20. So again, these are 20 right here. This is warm. I can keep my hand there. Uh, it's not getting too hot. Now it's running a game right now. So it's 32 degrees, 43 degrees Celsius right there when you're looking at it. But for the most part, at the places where your knees would be, like which would be up on these things, temps are actually pretty good. So. <laughs> so, I Yeah, it does it does a really good job of dispersing temps, right? Like it's the 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 cooling mechanism and it is a vapor chamber cooling for that. So, it just is an FYI. So, it is vapor chamber cooling. Um, but it does seem to do a pretty good job. Okay, I'm trying my has my best to Flip this over without dropping the $5,000 laptop. Okay. <laughs> I am having palpitations over here yeah, for I, you. I'm pretty man. sure I gave all sorts of people like, Roby! <laughs> okay. Well, holding my breath over here and saying a prayer or two. <laughs> hey, Zik PC, thank you very much for the tier one piece, the tier one gift. Drop into Cap. Nothing touch bad users, but I will say um, gaming with a touch a little hard. You just got like your mic we lost audio. Oh, okay, hold on.
We need some like hold music in here now. Am I back? You are back. That was weird. My whole mic came unplugged. I no, was going to start giving people hold music. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't my. I, I my mic did not. Battery did not die, guys. I'm not that bad. <laughs> did you charge it beforehand? Yeah. Okay. So just to give you guys an idea, let's show you some sound here. Oh, I know why. Because the sound is coming through the. Sounds coming through to you guys. Let's change sound to come through the speakers. Okay, so here's the soundscape. And it is, like, it is running a game right now. It was, and then the music went away. Okay. We're gonna jump in here. Hopefully the music starts again. It was playing and then it stopped. It has two, it has four. Not quiet enough. Oh God, there's a dude. Let me go. Get him. I, I wasn't ready for this. I don't even know how to fight. And then all of a sudden these dudes are here. What the deuce? Oh man, I gotta run. Okay, run. We get whelmed. We get whelmed. I don't whelmed. remember how to heal five. Okay, I heal. Did I actually win? Oh, oh my cubes. Okay, I actually won. I, I feel like the audio is all mixed up here. Okay, so I'm gonna restart this really quick, guys, so I can get some, uh, I'm gonna not end here though. I'm gonna go run a little bit so I'm not in the middle of combat when I jump in at this game. Oh, but where's the fun in that? Okay, so right now, guys, we're running at 50, 61 frames per second. So I'll go, let's just check our settings here. So for our graphic settings, remember this is at 4K plus. Uh, so we're gonna go to display settings. We have everything on ultra. For our graphic settings, we're running at Rending resolution, oh, we're using XESS. That makes not a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and go to performance, which would be the right setting for there. We're not, we don't have frame generation on, uh, and then V-Sync is off, and then we'll go ahead and hit back, and back. And there we go, that's better. 88 frames per second now. Okay, so we'll go up here a little bit, and then leave the game and get the music to go again. Okay, let's start this again, because I want you guys to be able to hear the audio sound. I'm gonna check to see if my audio is working. Just maximizing the- Okay, so that, so audio is working again. Go away. Okay, so let's try this again once it comes up. How, we have all that stuff. You can look at the top left-hand corner to see how it... Wow! Intel just raided the channel. Thank you very much, Intel. Yeah, let's go. Welcome, Intel folks. Okay, we're going to jump back in.
for a second. Okay, what's up everybody? Just reloading in here now. More shaders. Yeah, this shader will load fast though. Yeah, I put it back. Sorry, I was fixing something, guys. We had a little bitrate issue we're fixing. Okay. The sound is still not coming through the right thing. The speakers are really good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that gives you an idea. Now, the game is running. Why does it only play for a second? That is a good question. Okay, so hopefully that fixes it. But what the deuce? Let me just go to audio. Maybe I can see. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to change the sound here. Okay, so anyway, there there is audio. Again, it's loud enough when you play that I have noticed that it does not, it does not, it is the sound of the game, even less than max. You can put it to about 75% for most games, which is very impressive when, with the sound of the audio, um, it, it, it is louder than the, you, so you won't need to do headphones. The game soundscape will overpower it. Um, if you were gonna set it to lower than that, you might actually hear some fan noise uh, playing with your overall audio sound. So just something to be aware of. Okay, so anyway, I showed you a little bit of how uh, how this was basically running at that speed. Yeah, seems to be okay. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and hit exit here. Let's check out a different game. And then give you guys another kind of look. So let's pop in. We'll just, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Let's go and check out Assassin's Creed. That's always a good one. And then afterwards, we'll jump down to the vector after this. And remember guys, we are giving away a laptop here near the end of the stream. So if you're interested in getting in on that laptop giveaway, we're gonna be doing that here at the end of the stream. We're giving away an MSI Stealth, but right now we're rocking you through Intel 14th gen MSI laptops. So some of the, giving you an idea, talking about buyer's guide, talking about um, different specs, et cetera, and helping you choose good laptops by using these as a way to kind of direct the conversation. So if you have questions, feel free to ask. We can see all the chats and all that sort of stuff. And then just stick around at some point in time, we're gonna be giving away uh, one of these laptops. Now, if you want to upgrade the laptop we're giving away, uh, you can drop uh, the subs. Let me see where we are from a sub standpoint right now. 43 out of 75. Yeah, we're at 43 to 75. So when, we, so when that number drops, gets to 75, we'll throw an additional one terabyte NVMe drive into the uh, into the giveaway laptop. If you get it to uh, if we get it to uh, 125, then we'll drop away we'll drop 32 gigs of RAM. And if we get it to over 200 subs, then we'll actually drop a uh, we'll actually put a two terabyte NVMe drive in there instead of the one terabyte NVMe drive. So we'll upgrade that laptop over time and that's stuff that you can unlock. Also, if you wanna get extra entries towards winning that PC, all you gotta do is drop your Amazon Prime sub. You drop your Prime sub, you get, uh, you get additional entries. You do not need to be subscribed to win the laptop. It just gives you additional entries. And then we also have this beautiful sub only Intel PC that we're giving away back here. That's gonna be the month for, that's the sub only giveaway for the month of February and March. If you wanna get in on that, drop your Prime sub or you can use tier one that gets you three entries. Tier two gets you five, tier three gets you 10, and then gifted entries give you, each gifted sub gives you an additional entry towards winning that, that desktop PC. So hopefully that's all the stuff in terms of uh, giving you guys the info. So let me jump in here. We're gonna show Assassin's Creed Mirage just how well this plays now. And thank you very much for all you guys who are subbing. PC guy dropping five gifted subs, trying to get us up to that score. Oh, let's switch that graphic. There we go, okay. Still need to play, Assassin's Creed Mirage is awesome. So we're just gonna show you how Assassin's Creed Mirage runs on this laptop as well. 
Uh, and then we also have some Hell Divers too that we can show. So we'll just throw those games and then we're gonna switch over to the Vector. So 49 more likes on YouTube, guys. And we'll be giving away that laptop in just a bit. But we almost unlocked a $25 new gift card already. Okay, so this is Assassin's Creed Mirage. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of what it looks like on the screen, off the screen via the side camera so you can just see how good this looks. Okay, so let's go to graphics here. Lucky Yab, thank you very much for the sub. So we're at very high, 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 ultra, all that sort of stuff. We're gonna do adaptive quality. We're trying to get to 60 FPS. We're just gonna turn that off. We're gonna do DLSS. Let's go to performance, we're running at 4K. And there we go. Oh, I gotta restart. Stream Tech. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Guys, we're getting really close to that first one. Shadow Firefox gifted out a gifted sub. Yeah, this is 4K. So we're showing you the top, top, top performance. There we go. And then you guys can hear the sound on this laptop is genuinely stunning. It sounds so good. Yeah, this is 4K. Now we're in a we're in a we're in a we are in a cutscene right now. <clears throat> so we'll get in there and we'll check all that stuff here in a minute. Oh, that sounds, guys, this sounds so good. <clears throat> and it, it, the screen just, I wish there was a way to show you just how good mini LED looks. Like with the brightness and everything. I mean, it just, it looks, it just pops. It, the color, the saturation, all that sort of stuff. This is a great laptop to play games on. Yes, it's $5,300, but the screen, the resolution, all of that stuff kind of comes together. And then the speaker experience, it just sounds so good. Okay, so let's jump in, just see how this runs. At 4K, you, full resolution. Do you want to pull that power brick back from the edge again? It's, it's, it's okay, it's not, it's, not, it's, it's not even close. <laughs> all right, making me nervous, bud. Okay, so now we're in game. So we're looking at 114, 117 frames per second. at full resolution at 4K. And this is a laptop, guys. Now, you guys, I will tell you the framiness, we, you're, so you're seeing some of the sync. It is doing adaptive syncing, so that's why it's not as smooth. If I did V-Sync, it would look smoother. That's, pay attention to the frame rate in the top left-hand corner. You're gonna see some jitteriness on the screen. It does not look like that. It does not look like that in the, uh, when you're playing. Yeah, and you can see the temps there, 70 on the 4090. We're looking at 70, 80 on the 4900HX. We're pulling 54 watts on the, C on the GPU, I mean on the CPU, and 130 watts. I mean, again, that's where a lot of your heat comes from. It's from that 4090, not necessarily from the CPU. There's a question about- There is no frame gen on, no. It's just there DLSS. You know. What was the question? That was the question I was gonna ask. Just giving you a good idea of what it's like in terms of running around. And, 
and the sound it's spatial audio so like it sounds like the dude i'm listening to a dude talk and he sounds like he's over here so like this the soundscape on this and of course unfortunately when you're playing when you're playing and doing this as a live demo it's impo it's impossible to to make that to show you that but that's the thing is guys i'm not playing with any i'm not playing with any uh headphones on and what you are hearing is just purely the game audio but let me turn it down so i can get you guys an idea to where i'm getting to where i can hear fan noise so right there about 56 is where i'm getting fan noise I don't have, I, I, unfortunately, I only have a certain number of games. I wish I could try every game, but I don't have every game. We might be here for a minute if you did. Yeah, if I did every game, it'd be forever. And I, I want to make sure that we get through the three, the three ones. I, I want to give you guys, this is obviously a very high-end gaming experience. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the Vector, which is actually more mid-range. 20, what, 2,700 bucks for that one? Still a great, great gaming experience, uh, but still. Guys, we are now at 58 subs right there. We're getting close to that first upgrade. Almost 600 people here right now too. Saber, thank you for the prime sub. Remember, you do not need to be sub to enter to win, but subs get you extra entries. So there you guys go. There is some Assassin's Creed Mirage. So let's look at something a little bit more modern day here. We'll throw some Hell Divers too at this, and then that'll be the last one that we'll jump over the vector. Uh, Zig PC, yes, giving you getting a gifted sub does give you additional entries as well. Upgrades, get your upgrades. That's what Caleb says. <laughs> get your hot upgrades here, folks. Okay, so let's jump into this one. Just check this one out. And then after this, I'll, we'll jump over to the vector, which we're now literally cutting the cost in almost half at that point in time. Guys, 216 of 250. Head over to youtube.com slash where we take live. Hit that thumbs up button. Super Earth. Super oh, Earth. Minus one. That seems fine. <laughs> Dempy, thank you very much. Streaming tech again. Thank you for the other gifted sub. Hoping we're going to be able to show you some hell divers. It's Minus because you didn't watch the PSA. I should have watched the whole thing. That was the problem. Streaming tech. Oh, PC guy gifting it to Max Bunny. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> it's very unpatriotic of you, Roby. This game is so good. This game is so Intel saying, yes, this game is very good. We're gonna let it give one more chance. And then if not, we'll jump over, yeah. Sorry guys, apparently there's some sort of bug. We'll, I'll, I'll reload it. We'll see. I have I mean, network I do, connectivity. I do see a couple of bugs on the screen though. Where do you see bugs? Oh, you mean on the, okay. <laughs> PC guy dropping five more gifted subs. Somebody wants those upgrades, guys. I'm just, I'm just saying, somebody wants those upgrades. Yeah, riddled with bugs and bots. Let's see if this works. And if not, maybe I know they've been working on service to server stuff. So it says defrosting. That seems like better. Hopefully I'm being defrosted guys.
I will say playing this, like playing games on this is actually really just nice. Servers at capacity, what? Don't they know who I am? That's why the server's <laughs> at capacity. They're like, we don't want that trash on here. We don't want that guy. <laughs> okay, oh, guys. God. Apparently, a lot of people are playing Helldivers 2 right now. All right, so there you go. There's a couple games. Let's go ahead and ch let's change. Let's change things a little bit. Let's show you a different one. And then, guys, don't worry. We're still going to show you how... Even the laptop you're going to be able to win today is going to perform, right? So we're giving you the full meal deal. We're ending with the laptop that you can win at the end of the stream. So don't worry. You're, you're still going to see that too. Apparently, Spazna, they are. This is a veritable buffet of laptop knowledge. Aussie Nomad, I don't, ha I, I don't have the open beta. I know it's, I think it's still open. I probably, if we get a chance, I could try and download it. But uh, we'll, we'll show that on the laptop we're going to give away. Okay, so let me put this one away. And let's switch to the next one and go from there. No, uh, Skull and Bones is out a little bit later. <laughs> but I do have performance numbers for all those games. If you guys want to know, we do have all the performance numbers. So I can tell you how they perform in all those games if you want to know. Oh, it's out today. Oh, oh, it just, oh, it released today. Okay, well then, yeah, I could, I, I should get it. I will get it. Okay, calm down. You guys are like, you guys are angry. Roby, it's already out. I'm sorry. I haven't, I, I get a lot of games. I just don't have all of them. I'll make sure I get it. Okay. Okay, guys, we are two subs away from a one terabyte giveaway already which is gonna give us, which is means we're gonna put a one terabyte NVMe inside of that giveaway laptop. So if we want, if somebody just wants to get us over that, let's get two subs. I will, I'll buy it now. Dance, Robert, dance. I'm dancing, okay? Yeah, that slow smokes, I'm the same problem. Okay. We're two subs away, guys, and then we'll have our first upgrade. So next up on our list, I'm gonna bring it up right now. And there they are. That's one. Oh, there they are, that's two, there we go. 75, well, no, it does, oh, there it is. 75, okay, guys, next goal coming up. So we already have one terabyte of storage. Okay, next goal is up, guys. Oh, Epsilon Doc there added one more. So that's actually, hold on, we're at 76. Okay, next goal is up, guys. Then we upgrade 32 gigs of RAM. That's a huge upgrade from 16 to 32 gigs of DDR5. So you guys have already unlocked the KC NV2 Gen 4 NVMe drive would go into this. If we get to the 150, we'll put 32 gigs as well. And then if we get to 250, we'll go to weigh a two terabyte instead of a one terabyte. So there we go, guys. Keep it going. Okay, so next on the list, I'm gonna bring it up here. We have the MSI Vector 16HX. Yeah, the Vector 16HX is our next laptop on the list here. Now this one, comparatively to the one that we just got finished covering, which was $5,300, takes, nice, takes a nice drop down. Still not, still not the cheapest, but definitely a better price here. So here it is right here. This is the Vector MSI. Whoops, okay, I did not mean to hit that. Okay, wow. I am touchpad failing right now, guys. Oh my gosh, what the deuce. Karma's, everything is, go away. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so here it is right here. All these stupid things. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there we go. So here it is right here, the MSI 16-inch, 240 hertz Intel. This is this, the Vector 16HX. 
Again, another Core i9-14900HX. Now, you might be saying, Roby, one is $5,300 and the other one is $2,700, but they both have the same CPU. Yes, that is true. But understand with mobile CPUs, mobile CPUs get tuned differently between different chassis. And because the, uh, because the, the Titan has a uh, the Titan has a vapor chamber cooling. You can actually see it pull 95 watts. While when you're looking at the Vector 16 HX, and you'll see this when we do the Cinebench, you're going to see closer to 55 watts um, pulled in terms of the overall power. So you will see a lower Cinebench score uh, on this one versus what you will see on the Titan. You know, and that's one of the things you're getting at $5,300. Think of it as like as like a Ferrari or something like that, right? Like, you know, you can still buy like a Lexus or a Subaru WRX with 330 horsepower that does 150, 140 miles an hour. But when you start getting, with like to jump to 170 or 180, you're not spending two times the cost. Sometimes you're spending 2.5, three times the cost to get that extra speed. And that's what you start to talk to. It's the same kind of concept works in laptops as well. So I'm gonna get this one set up here. And then we'll continue kind of walking through the specs and talking a little bit more about it. But again, and then we're gonna go all the way down to something that's like essentially 1200 bucks. Uh, and then we even have an $800 one if you guys were interested. We've shown that before when we showed the Lenovo, which is their Cyborg series, which is another option. And that's like what, 700, 650 bucks for that one. Still a very powerful laptop, uh, but those have a tendency, they don't have a 13th gen one that I know of yet, maybe. So 238 to 250, guys, can we just quickly, there's almost 600 people here. Just head over to youtube.com slash Tech live. Hits, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, it's 240 hertz. We're gonna go through the specs right now so I can uh, go through there, but I wanna bring up the, uh, let's just talk a little bit more uh, about the specs of this one. So unlike the other one that we just got finished covering, this one has a 4090 in it, which is a little bit different. So this has a four, sorry, this has a, unlike the 4090 that was in the Titan, this one has a 4080. So it's, it's actually a step down, but Unlike the Titan, this one has a ton of different options in terms of specs and, capa uh, and uh, capabilities. So you can get a 4060, a 4070, all, all the way mobile 4080, and there's even talk of a mobile 4090 version too as well, right? Isn't that true? That's correct. So, yeah, so we have a bunch of different options here. So again, this one has an Intel Core i9-14900HX. It's got an NVIDIA 4060 up to 4090 mobile GPU. The one we're showing is a 4080. It's got a 16 inch QHD plus. This is, I just gotta say, this is, this is my favorite resolution, guys. I love this resolution. It's basically 1440p plus or 1600p. You're gonna see some great performance numbers when you see gaming on this thing because of the screen resolution. That mobile 4080 can push this, this screen resolution for days for years, right? And so it's bringing it right into that nice sweet spot of refresh rate resolution and everything. And this is a 240 Hertz refresh rate screen. So there are games that can absolutely take advantage of the power of this GPU and hit 240 Hertz without a problem. Um, it's an IPS level LCD display, so it's not mini LED. It can do 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. And then there is actually a 17 inch option, but it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Um, this feels, this I feel is way more reasonable to buy. Yes, this is way more reasonable to buy. I, I can't, I can't disagree. Uh, storage in this one is uh, one terabyte. Uh, we actually can do two terabyte models as well. It's up to 64 gigs of 5,600 megahertz. This one has 32 gigs. Uh, the keyboard is by Steel Series. So when we look at the top down here for this one, you can actually see, again, it's Steel Series. It's not as nice as the Cherry MX ones. Still nice to type on. It's got some different colored keys. You'll see when I turn it on um, and stuff like that, just to make it like feel a little bit more gamey. Uh, it's got two two watt speakers and one combo audio jack. It's, it has no woofer. Um, so the soundscape isn't quite as good. Um, 90, watt oh, 90 watt hour battery, uh, network connectivity is Wi-Fi 7, and it also has an integrated 2.5 gig gigabit ethernet port, 330 watt power brick, so not quite as much as 400 watts. It weighs 5.95 pounds. How much is that in bananas, Damien? I am gonna figure that out right now. I was not prepared to answer that question. So we're, we're gonna get there. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> now, one thing you're not gonna see me do, um, and it's a little bit different. 
is the opening of this is actually pretty complicated. So you can expand it. It does have sodiums, uh, so you can update your sodiums. It does have storage, but what you have to do to open this up, which is a little bit tricky, and I, I'm, I almost feel irresponsible by doing this if I was gonna show you on screen, is you have to remove this shroud, and then along the side here, you have to use your, you put off your screws, and then you have to un, like kind of pry this off. I need to show you in the right way. You gotta kind of pry off the sides, and then it'll pop off. So it's not as easy. The Stealth that you're gonna see and the Titan are actually easier to upgrade than this one. That's one thing that I kind of give it a ding against. But outside of that, it's a phenomenal laptop. You just may have to do some additional work and be a little bit more, what's the word? Uh, creative? Gentle. Yeah, creative, I guess, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of the right, the right word, brave to do the upgrades for this one, yeah. Yeah, you, you, have, to, you have to be be calculated with it. You have to be very, very, uh, yeah, cautious, careful. Yeah, so this uh, one's a little happened. bit crazier in terms of that. Now, one thing I will say is, again, one thing we talked about are R's. This one has a great, great combination of resolution, refresh rate, and ratio. So all of those things work in concert together, specifically with this laptop, to give you a really great experience. And the other thing too is Titan and even the Vector, in both of these cases, you're talking about laptops that are going to last you for years. These all have great hardware that are going to last you for a good amount of time. <clears throat> and, and I can confirm that it weighs 21.15 bananas. Oh, it weighs 25.15 bananas. So, 20, oh, but 21. we did 21.5, okay, 21.5. Now you guys might wanna know, Roby, how is it comparatively when you think about bananas for scale, you know, it's 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 not as big as the Titan, but I mean, it's still it can still fit a fair amount of um, a, fi a fair amount of um, bananas on it. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, guys, somebody's saying, hey, you should do a video review. We have an overview video coming out. Um, we are trying to do a video review, but I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible. <clears throat> Yes, Zig, you're absolutely right. You should not, if you are gonna do this, and he's dead on, um, uh, I fix it kits and specifically things that separate this versus using a screwdriver, you can actually bend the frame, which is why I'm gonna be responsible and not show you how to do it on here. <clears throat> um, okay, so anyway, that is the top. You can see a little bit now, I am on the top down. You can see the little bit of lighting here. So the cool thing here from the lighting standpoint, you can see that we get these neat little color things. And then they do lighten up based on if you hit function, you'll actually see that they brighten and they change colors, which is pretty cool. And this is still controlled in the same way as the Steel Gear, the, the Steel Series thing is you use the same software to change the color and lighting and stuff like that. But let's throw, let's throw some, uh, let's throw, let's show you guys some productivity and throw, show you some gaming and all that sort of stuff so you guys can know how this one performs versus the other one. And let me tell you, you're not gonna be disappointed and the main reason being is that's because the screen is only 1600p. Uh, which is, I mean, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. All right, so let's jump into this now and we'll drop, we'll grab our Cinebench. Thank you for all those Prime subs, guys. Grab our, I'm just gonna throw our mouse in here real quick. What's up Clutch, how are you? Okay, so let's go into this. So let's pop open Cinebench. And then we're gonna grab Hardware Info Monitor. And I gotta download it. I'm not connected to the internet because I didn't plug that in. Can he find it? Nope. <laughs> Not that talented. Oh, it's actually in the right place. Uh, I didn't, I should have given myself more. Should have given myself more, uh, let me explore more, but I'm trying to keep you guys entertained here. <clears throat> the max resolution of this one is, uh, remember off the top of my head here, it is, do, 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 uh, 
It's uh, 1440p plus, so it's 2560 by 1600. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, and I, I will show you this here in a minute. I, I promise not to, um, not to uh, not show you, is I will show you the, um, the connectivity on it as well. I forgot to show that as part of my showing you everything. Guys, is this, is, is this helpful? I mean, like we try to, I try to, we're doing, obviously we're doing a build tomorrow. We're gonna be doing a height Y70 build and all that sort of stuff. Trying to give you guys a good variety of content, show you new things, you know, not just only PC builds. We, don't worry, there's still lots of PC builds and PC build giveaways and all that sort of stuff, but trying to also show you guys some other hardware. We did that monitor one. People seem to really love that. We're trying to do some laptop ones, you know, every couple months just to give you, uh, just to give you some ideas, yeah. <clears throat> okay, why did my, okay, let's, I don't know why that stopped working, but. Good, I appreciate it. I, oh. No, leave, go away. I just want to use your monitor. I mean, use your mouse. Oh, don't you love that? It's like, just let me use the mouse. <laughs> okay. So now let's open up hardware info. And the other thing too, that's pretty crazy about this lot. I mean, it's, the thing is you still have 32 cores. You can see them right there. There's all your P cores and your E cores. So you still have all of this stuff um, in terms of running here. So we have everything here right now, our package temperature is at 48, which is actually a little, the idle temperature seems to be a little bit cooler uh, than what we have a tendency to see uh, on the Titan. So let's go to 10 here. We also are running this on AI. So let's, on AI mode. So again, it's, it's we're letting it choose automatically, uh, but you could, if you wanted to go to performance or et cetera, so you guys saw that overlay. And let's give it a go. 10 minutes here. We're not going to run for 10 minutes. Don't worry. You're like, what? <laughs> we could. Will you be showing how to change a tire? No. Now the, now the question is, could you change a tire out while you ran the 10 minute Cinebench? Test? I don't know if I'm that fast, guys. Car tips. Maybe I should get that channel started. There okay, so there go. we go. We're hitting up there. Our score on this one, 31,000. So actually, this one is actually scoring higher than what we saw on the Titan. Again, it's a 14900HX, so 31,000 is about the equivalent of a desktop 14.6. Um, but wattage-wise, look, we're still seeing 150, 160 watts in terms of our... Now, I could run... Before, ooh, look at that, 200 watts. We saw 200 watts right ooh. there. Man, that, that like, that jumped up tremendously. So that's pretty impressive. It's jumping right down to about where the Titan is, but decibel level. Yeah, it is loud. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's the thing that you're gonna hear, the thing that's worth noting on this one, guys, is that even though the sound, we'll, we'll get it here. So you can see it's actually hovering a little bit louder. Even though the sound is about the same, I will say the noise level is higher on this laptop, meaning how the airflow is disturbed is more noticeable than what we saw on the Titan. So just something worth noting there. <clears throat> Trying to see if there's any other questions. Yeah, the pitch is a little bit more, yeah, I think blue, that's a great way. The pitch is a little bit more unpleasant than what we've seen on the other ones, for sure. Attention required, Cinebench trigger to high. Thank you, Norton, that's not helpful. Okay, so let's <laughs> like, go ahead and stop hey. that. You can see why, but again, performance-wise, really nicely in line with what we saw even from versus the Titan. But yeah, this is, has more of a traditional cooling pipe system versus a vapor chamber cooling system. Yeah, the keyboard's actually really nice. 
Okay, so jump love, into this. I love Sigmund's comment that it's not quite on hair hair dry, dryer level. Keyboard flex, that's a great question. There's some, I'd say there's some drift if you really push. But for the most part, if you're just typing normally, normally maybe a millimeter, maybe a little bit long, a little bit more than that, but there's not, it doesn't, you're not feeling it, it doesn't feel cheap. The actual chassis itself feels really nice. And I think the keyboard drift, one thing you do have to understand about when you look at, um, where is my top down? Okay, when you look at a keyboard, uh, when you look at a laptop, there still has to be some pace for thermal space, thermal pads and even airflow inside. So they can't have solid. There is rigidity in things like MacBooks, et cetera, or even razors. Um, but for the most part, a lot of times creating that space ends up with better cooling. Yeah. Runs too hot. Um, no, temperature wise, that's actually right on par. Uh, any laptop that you would basically do for that would do the same thing, right? Basically sees where thermal limit is, tests its ambient temperature, and then tries to give you the best clock speed based on what that is. Again, we're giving it the worst case scenario, not the best case, uh, given, that, um, given that we are running a CPU heavy benchmark load. Um, when you see gaming and stuff like that, temps are gonna be fine. And you'll see that here in a minute. Honestly, while well, most games even really get to that point in pushing that this laptop, you will have a while before you um, before you really are pushing this laptop. When it's yes, you can't. The fans are noticeably louder than what we saw in the Titan. So let's go and open up Steam here, and we'll check out a couple games. So we'll pop into Hogwarts Legacy first, just to give that one a go. And then I'll flip it over while it's running so you guys can see what the bottom's like. How does this, how does this work on your lap? Uh, GT Beakerman, we actually did a test on that for the most part. Like we did a bunch, we tested some laptop coolers. They didn't really make that big of a difference. Um, and I have a video on that. But some people swear by them. And if it makes you, ha the one thing that's nice about laptop coolers is they don't make the laptops hot on your lap. Yeah, Kenneth, the one thing that I was talking about, Kenneth was saying I put the earphones in. I will say that on the Titan, it's not as necessary. This one feels like you're gonna need headphones um, because even now, I think the speakers are all the way up and I can definitely hear the fan, the air disturbances on this one. Uh, I don't know. I, I clutch. Let me ask. I'll see what our average temp, average frame rate is for Valor, and it's been a while. Okay, let me show you guys while this is loading shaders. How are how does it look in terms of heat? What is this gonna feel like on your lap? I think Valorant is one of those games that can run on a waffle fry. Yeah, he's just I'm wondering sure. if he can use 540 hertz, so it needs to be 540 oh, gotcha. frames per second. Now again, good cooling here. So I'm gonna sh sh flip it over so you guys can see here. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Again, the one thing that's really nice is it does a good job of creating space even when it's flat to keep things elevated. We have these higher bumpers at the top. I know you can't really see them with the way that it's going, but I'm trying to get the uh, Get the, uh, I'm gonna get the, the thermal energy imager on so you guys can see how hot it is. Am I fluke dead? Okay, here it goes. Oh no. It's cooler than cool, it's ice cool. Okay, so we're gonna have our image here in a minute. Okay, so for where, like here, 
and here. This doesn't seem so bad. 42 here. Guys, I will tell you, putting my hand there though, you cannot feel it. Like if this was on your lap, you would not feel it running. Where you see, you see heat pipes there, but that's the, the actual surface temperature, if I can get it, is actually nowhere near that warm. Like it feels way cooler than that. So if you had this on your lap, outside of, you know, obviously you wanna have airflow, but if you had this on your lap, you would not, feel, it would not burn you. The Titan, when you touched it, was much warmer. This one does not feel that way. However, you're blowing hot air, so you're, you might have some, you might have some, some gross sweat issues. Um, you know what I mean? Like that's one thing being aware, but just overall though, temp wise, we're pretty good. Let me flip this over so I can show you keyboard wise if we have anything from there. What was the question? Sorry, I missed the question from 20. I don't know if you saw it, Damien. Uh, the question was, my Twitter name is, name is different from my YouTube and Twitch name. Would that be oh. a problem oh, okay. if I entered it on Twitter uh, also as an option? All right, so here we go. This is the temperature for the keyboard. So the warmest part is up here. Doesn't feel too bad. I will tell you, keyboard, you can definitely feel heat, but it's not, it's nothing that's going to uh, like bother you in terms of your touching and stuff like that. Does a pretty god good job of distributing heat. Um, but yeah, you're not really gonna see any issue there. Um, and then yeah, so again, there you go. That's the that's basically where we are from a heat standpoint. Let's talk more about the gross sweat. I'm just saying. <laughs> just keeping it real. Just keeping it real so you guys know. Okay, so here we are in the game, running 134 frames per second. Let's pull our, we're got full screen, we're running DLSS. We're gonna drop this down to balance because we're running at 1440p essentially. Fame generation is off, reflex is on, V-Sync is off, and our frame rate is uncapped. Okay. Let's jump into the game and see how this performs. So again, 90-ish frames per second at 1440p, which is good, or 1600p. This is a little bit bigger from a resolution standpoint. I lost you, I lost chat there for a second. So again, nice and smooth in terms of, in terms of gameplay, things like that, feels nice. Man, I will say, not too loud in terms of gaming. I am hearing the music over the fans. It, now the fans are noticeable compared to the Titan. The Titan, you could, you definitely, um, you couldn't hear the fans at all. But this one, the sound is loud enough. Let me see if I'm at the, I'm at max, max sound volume. Sound's got a nice richness to it, but it doesn't feel as spatial as the, uh, as the Titan does. But still, very impressive. Screen looks nice, great color but not as bright as the other one. Let me show you guys, I'll, I'll show you guys so we can get in there so you guys can see here from the side view. It's still a nice bright screen um, in terms of color and everything like that. Definitely not as popping as what you saw with the Titan with that mini LED. Uh, you can definitely tell there's some muting there in terms of the overall colors, etc. but still very attractive, still very pretty from that perspective. I could never find an official number on what the max brightness was for it's that display. 30 sheep skin lumens of joy. Ooh, okay. Uh, glad to know that they were of joy and not of despair. No, yeah, there was no despair. Get yeah, excellent, excellent. So last time I was here, there was some like goblins that like jumped me, which was not cool. But yeah, this is more, okay, so we're seeing 70 now. So you may want to run frame gen, but I mean, 60, 70 is, is okay. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. All 
I don't know what that is. It's an ancient magic puzzle. What is it? It's an ancient magic puzzle. Oh, is that what it is? They, yep. I haven't played there this are, game in so long. There are, I believe, <coughs> three different points that you have to find in the area to solve the puzzle. Oh, okay. But yeah, there you go. Now, if we wanted to, just to make the in, improve graphics, we can. Let's go ahead and throw frame generation on. So now we're nice in that 90-ish range. I really love this game. I really should play it more. And I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Did you ever finish it? No. Oh. It's good, think, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And there we go. So anyway, you guys, there is some uh, there's some Hogwarts, uh, some Hogwarts Legacy, if you wanted to see that. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and take a look at, again, we'll throw in some, uh, we'll uh, play some Assassin's Creed. Throw the ring. What is Harry Potter Legacy? I don't know if I played that one. How, how are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? I believe we're past the 250. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. YouTube goal reached, okay. We're at 280. There we go. Thank you very much, guys. So we've unlocked the $25 new gift card. And then we are on our way to unlocking the 32 gigs of NVMe, the 32 gigs of DDR5. We've unlocked a one terabyte NVMe for the giveaway PC, the giveaway laptop we're doing at the end of the stream. Yeah, there's a bunch of games. There's so many good games coming out. Oh, I'm with you, uh, Andrew. I can't wait for Space Marine 2 as well. Yeah, I want, yes. a, new yes. <laughs> I want a new Mech Warrior game as well. Okay, let's see oh, where we yes. are on the uh, giveaway on unlocking the things while we're waiting for Assassin's Creed to load here real quick. We have 80 guys. We are getting close. I really hope that we unlock the 32 gigs. That's going to make a big, for, a big difference in terms of just game uh, performance. So that's the one that I'm hoping that we're able to, uh, we're able to uh, unlock today. So we're at 81. So we only need about 69. Wow, 69. We only need about 69 more subs to unlock that. So if you want to drop your Amazon Prime sub, remember, you're also going to be entered to win this beautiful sub-only PC back here. Um, and then uh, you get extra entries towards the $5,000 Intel system we're giving away on Tuesday in partnership with Amazon, uh, in partnership with Intel. So you're definitely going to want to tune in for that too. So, and you get extra entries with your subs. Uh, Bloof, it's just, it's just so I can set a timer. Wow. That is some uh, music right there. I, that's loud. <laughs> Don't you love that? Like booting up a new game and bam. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I mean, that's good soundscape. That's why I like to show you it. Yeah, Brenton Gaming, you're not wrong. The music is actually really good in this game. Wow, this is, this is, this just sounds louder than what I was getting on ha Harry Potter. We haven't given it away yet. Okay, so here we are. We're jumping into the game to show off Assassin's Creed Mirage. Then after this, guys, DMAT dropping two gifted subs. After this, we're going to the giveaway laptop. We're going to be showing off how good the giveaway laptop is. Wow, the bass on that. That's, I mean, sorry. I, I, I try to give you guys my genuine reactions to these things. 
and I am genuinely surprised at how good this sounds. I mean, it's $3,000, so it should sound good. But I do want to make a point to that, though, Roby, because uh, we, we did touch on this a little bit when we walked through the spec. But one of the things I really appreciate about the Vector is that it is kind of the jack of all trades laptop in the in the laptops that we're looking at, right? Uh, it, it's one of those ones where because of the amount of configuration that you can do with it, like it can be like it is right now. Like this is probably one of the, you know, on the higher, this is with the 48, it's on the higher end of things. But, you know, if you needed it to be, a, you know, 40, 60, 40, 70, you needed to, like we talked about with battery life, you needed to maximize battery life for travel, but still wanted something decent to to game with you still have the same speakers the same screen all that stuff you're working with is the same but you know you have the option to to choose different hardware that's that's inside of it yep. so this so this could be a $1900 laptop that has all of those incredible things as well or it could be a much more expensive laptop when you get into the the 3080s and 3090s oh we're not even using case okay, so let's go to DLSS That was weird. Okay, so we were we're going we went into DLSS. We were getting, I mean, that was just that was just TA, and we we're getting 155 frames per second, which is actually pretty. pretty so Andrew Memorex20 asks, how much is portability worth over the price difference on a laptop or a desktop? I'm sorry. So on a desktop. Basi so basically, like, would you? What what do you think the value is in in portability? And we did touch a little bit about on this earlier, but I think it's worth going over again. Real quick, uh, real quick, somebody asked, giveaway is Canada, Mexico, that you guys are in. You, you get delivery, everything. If you're outside of the North America, then you have to pay for customs and shipping. Yeah, so just to be clarity there. So I, I'm the portability is, yeah, so portability on a laptop is, it's always in the eye of the beholder, guys. That's the thing is it's up to you. Like if you're looking at, and it, it depends on the work. Like when we were talking about the Titan, the Titan is not a portable laptop. It's a mobile workstation. It's meant to go to a different location. Well, that's really loud. It's meant to go to a different location um, and, uh, and do the work that it needs to do, right? And you plug it in and you do the work that it's going to do. Uh, for some people who want something that's more portable, right, that you can travel with, that's where something like a Vector or a Stealth can be a much better option because it's literally just about going and then having a great gameplay experience. But if you want a high-end gameplay experience, that's where something like a Titan might be really, really good. The thing is, they're not meant for battery life or anything like that. They're meant to be, like, unlike when I travel with my Pelican. I have a desktop Tiki that I carry around. You guys have seen me use it on Intel Live. I use it all the time. When I put everything, monitor, keyboard, mouse, uh, all of the connections that I need for that, that thing weighs a hundred pounds. And I've tried, like Damien has dragged that thing around when we've gone to trade shows. <laughs> it is not light. It is not easy to replace what this is capable of doing. Now people might look at this and be like, that's stupid. And those people usually don't travel. And so there, again, this is why when we do our, our laptop guides, our monitor guides, our, our um, even our GPU guides, which is like, it's blowing up. It's like 30 or 40,000 views. Um, we, we tell you it's personal. It's all up to you. We just try to give you, the consumer, the information you need to be able to make a wise decision about what you need. If you're somebody who really is gonna do majority of gaming, I'm sorry, majority of work stuff and then game from time to time, there's an MSI Prestige 16 AI right here with an ARC A7, with an ARC uh, integrated GPU that'll run games pretty well, but it also weighs less than what, what is it? Like less than three pounds? It's like- it's Something like that. It's, it's freaking light. light. And the screen is beautiful and it'll do product, it'll do everything. Uh, and that may be perfect for you. Or if you're somebody who's like a game developer who needs to also have something portable, but also be able to run builds, that's where something like either something like the Vector, the Raider, or even the Titan might be a better option for you. Or if you're just somebody who wants to make sure I travel for business when I'm in my hotel room at night, I need to be able to throw my laptop back. You can get something like a Stealth. It'll have like a 4070 in it, which will run games on a 1440p screen, perfectly fine.
So yeah. If you travel from your gaming room to your kitchen, a laptop may not be a buy that you need. <laughs> no, at, at that point, just stream your, uh, just stream your desktop to, to, to another device and go from there. Now, something Andrew, we were talking about this, we type, Andrew says, I never bought a laptop because of upgradability. At laptops, they do have upgradability and their upgradability is in their RAM and in their NVMe storage. So there is some upgrading there, but if you want to, you could look at, I mean, there are things like the framework and other ones that can be laptops that allow you to upgrade other things. <clears throat> For the most part, if you buy the right laptop, you can buy laptops that will last you years. Um, I will also say that desktops, let's be honest, they actually probably end up having the same shelf life as laptops. You can, you will, if you had an Intel CPU and you are hoping to go to whatever's after 14th gen, you're gonna need a new motherboard. There's a lot, like that upgradability, I mean, it's, you know, when you, unless you're somebody who's upgrading on a year to year basis, like there are people who've literally like, yeah, you, we've had people, and I mean, Org has even pointed out, like, dude, you need a whole new PC. Like, there is no upgrading this. You just need to take it and get something new, right? And that's the same thing for a laptop. For most of us, like, I have used the same laptop for like three years, and it and it's a it's a 3080, and it, it runs great. And I, I've never had something where it's like, I feel like I need to upgrade this. Yeah. And see, yeah, there's a great one, like AKA Duke says, I've been using my laptop for 10 years. For some people who buys an Ultrabook, like a Prestige, and all they're doing is that, dude, my wife's laptop, she's had it for seven years and she's perfectly happy, yeah. So it just really, again, it's in the eye of the beholder and the value is very, very singular based on what you do. Okay, so and let's really, jump in. Go ahead. Sorry, let me just interject here. And and basically, you know, to, to encapsulate all of this, like we just want to give information right like we love helping people understand uh what what they're spending their money on and and make the most of it really because at the end of the day like we want everybody to win when it comes to getting a new you know laptop or monitor or graphics card or anything like that like we just love the tech and we love you guys and and we want you guys to be excited about the tech that you get and that it works well for you and and yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we don't want to spend your money for you. For you, it's your money, and yeah. we just want to give. We just want to give you the info so that you can be the happiest that you can be with the purchases you make. And that's and that's the key part, right? Like somebody said, like somebody was just like, hey, "No way, my brother's been using his desktop for ten years, and if he plays like nothing but point and click adventure games, and he's really into retro games, then he's Perfect. happy." There is like the thing. This this whole thing that we we're trying to fight here at Roby Tech is that there's a one time one size fits all. For everybody, that's not true. It's it's all personal. What makes you happy? So a lot of people are like, Roby, should I upgrade? Do you do you feel like is there something it's not doing? And if the answer is no, then no, you don't need to upgrade. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off. I'm gonna put this on balanced, and I'm gonna apply. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now we're looking at 140 frames per second. Now this is just to get our best performance. You're probably gonna, it's gonna probably see them a little bit more jitty, jittery on your screen, but it is not jittery on, it is not jittery on my screen. And that's just because I'm not using adaptive, which is trying to keep it at a singular frame rate. So just so you know, it's buttery smooth what I'm playing right now. It's, there is, I, I never want, I, I don't like it. It's like, if you're happy, that's all that matters. You don't need to get, you don't need to get validation from me or anybody else. It's just what you want to do. There are people, I know people who game on Macs. And if they're happy, great. Do I, would I game on a Mac? No, but there are people who do. I was one of those people for many years. So. And, and I'm still around here. Well, good. Okay, good. Yeah, dude, they, 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 they really do have ankles of steel. Whoa. I'm going to go there. So there you go. That's just showing you a little bit of Assassin's Creed and how that runs.
And then let's just check Hell Divers if we happen to get lucky. <laughs> let's not take it too far. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, actually, Assassin's Creed Mirage is great. If you love Assassin's Creeds, I'm I'm looking forward to Red too. But I, I really do like Assassin's Creed Mirage. Spazzing out. I'm really glad that we're help we're helping. Okay, we're gonna see if I get in on this one. Oh, is it gonna work? Are you gonna get defrosted this time? I might, I might, I might just for fun drown, download Skull and Bones on the on the stealth, guys. We'll try and get it on. We'll try and get it on the stealth. Uh, will this laptop run GTA 6? I mean, given that we're 10 years out from that, I don't know. I have no way of knowing if this will run GTA 6. Oh! Guys, we got in. Let's go. Okay, so we'll let's do something safe just to see how it goes. We'll check the tutorial. Oh, SSA built a new computer. Last one was uh, showing signs of going out. It was hand me down parts, and they wanted. The experience of building a PC. Let's go. That's nice. Love, That's awesome, love dude. To see that. Uh, if you're in our Discord, uh, if you're not in our Discord, you should be. But if you are in the Discord, drop a picture. Drop a picture on the PC Picks uh, channel. Always love seeing people's builds. And somebody was saying, like, this game is very hard. Uh, the game was having server capacity issues earlier when we tried to show this on the Titan. So he did want to show it because it's a new game. So yeah. And everyone in our Discord is nice. They they do not they do not judge. They just want to help you. Okay, let's check our options here. So graphics, we're running custom. We're running an ultra depth of field on sharpness, shadow quality, everything is an ultra. Okay. Let's uh nope, nope, let's uh, apply. Let's go to We'll go to balanced. Apply. Okay, there we go. So we're at 130 frames per second now. I I probably let's I'm going to try I'm going to go to display I'm gonna go to quality. You definitely can tell that's better. That's definitely the setting. One eleven. I'm I'm down. It. I'm I'm down for it. Okay, here we go. Forgot what, okay, C. You have a hydration redeem. Oh, I've been hydrating like crazy. Hydrate or dihydrate. So this is just showing you how performance is. Oh, geez. Every time, it doesn't matter what I do. So there you go, there's 112 there on that one. So that's that'll show you performance on Helldivers 2. Um, I do wanna real quick before we jump to the stealth, which is the one that we're gonna be giving away tonight. So we're, we've shown you top tier. We've shown you a, like top tier-ish. It's not quite like, there's God tier. Have a God tier, then we went to top tier. Now we're gonna go into something just a little bit more reasonable and stuff like that just to show you uh, just to show you something from there. But before we get too far, I'm gonna shut this off and show you guys the connectivity. Because I didn't do a good job of that. 
you right in the face. Okay. So let that shut down. I wanted to show you guys the design so you guys can see a little bit more of the laptop. And then we'll jump over to the one that we're gonna give away here. We're uh, 85, we remember guys, 150, and then we'll give away, we'll add a 32 gig, 32 gigs of DDR5. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. We'll hydrate right now. We'll stretch. I love, I love doing this stuff, guys. I hope you, I hope you're really enjoying it. That's all I want to do. Okay. So here is the connectivity. I need a good laptop for creating music. This one would definitely do that. Uh, processing CPU and it has a tendency to be more uh, important for that stuff, for uh, audio creation. Okay, so here is all the connectivity. This is a very, yeah, uh, this is a very, very interesting in terms of the design and stuff like that. It's definitely not as square as like the Titan and the other ones you see. Like this one, it feels like they had some fun to make it feel gamey. So it's got definitely a game appeal. So you have your your ethernet, you have your HDMI in the back, you have your display port out, USB-C, and then this is your power brick, which I mean, the power brick on this thing is not small, 330 watts. Uh, on this side, you have another display port with uh, USB-C and Thunderbolt, two USB type A's, and then on the far side, you also have your SD card slot, another Thunderbolt slot slash USB-C, um, Port, and then you also have a audio jack as well. So, and then again, overall, you know, it's a little bit rounded. It's got the Kensington lock, all that sort of stuff. Definitely not boring. I feel like aesthetically, it's you're gonna you're gonna either like it or you're gonna hate it. Uh, it's not you know it's not like your standard looking laptop. The other thing too that's also worth noting, and I do like this, is that the monitor themselves is on like a hinge. So there's it's like a hinge kind of system. So I will say that it, and it is like a little elevated um, from the edge. So the monitor is actually separate from the body. So it's not necessarily a unibody design. So yeah, it's, it, you're right. It does have a little bit of a retro look to it. And it does sit quite, it does sit some off of the table just because of the rubber feet. You probably have like a good millimeter or two, maybe a couple centimeters of clearance around it, which is actually pretty nice. Okay, boys and girls, it's time. Next up. This is the one. This is the one we're giving away today. This is it. It is not a slacking laptop. We did not do something. This is a great balance of hardware. So I'm gonna show you guys this one. I'm really excited about it. And the other thing too is that with your subs, we have the opportunity to make it even better if you guys want to, your call. Okay, so we're gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring up the. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the thing now. Sarge T asks, "Does it run Slack though? It will oh, run. It runs Slack. Okay, so the one that we are running that we're giving away today, this is the MSI 15.6 inch MSI Stealth. It's got an Intel Core i5 13420H at 2.10 gigahertz. It's got an NVIDIA RTX 4060." inside of it, 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, a 512 gig NVMe SSD, now 1.5 terabytes. Uh, we have Windows 11 Home, and uh, we'll show you guys, we're gonna up, open this one up and stuff like that as well. So that is the laptop that we're gonna be giving, that we're gonna be showing you here in just a second. And this is also the laptop we are going to be giving away today, which is uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> and this and this laptop, for those of you who are interested, weighs 16.462 bananas. 16.462 bananas, guys. Now, a couple things that you're gonna notice right away is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the power brick first. So this is the one we're giving away today. This one actually uses a one of those proprietary, and I'll show you over here on the side, one of those proprietary power connections. It's like the little Mickey Mouse. Hey guys, oh. this is the special edition PC. So anyway, you have to use the Mickey Mouse, uh, the Mickey Mouse connection for this one, um, for the power. The brick is quite a bit smaller than what we had on this one. This one is, it's Delta, 
I can't tell. It's not as open about how much how power, big this power brick is. And it uh, also that, that uses, is uh, 180 watts. Oh, 180 watts. It also uses a different connection than what we saw on the other one as well. So it's got like the little the little round dot connection. And then this is the laptop, which I think is quite sexy. This is definitely something that is not going to scream gaming. Uh, it has that, it does have that productivity, but because of the discrete 4060 in it, um, it, uh, it definitely, um, it definitely will do what we want it to do. Um, so this again, just to give you guys the whole 411 on this one, um, it's a, uh, 13, 420, uh, core I5, and this is a 13th gen an RTX 4060, 15 inch 1080p plus. So the uh, it's IPS I'm, level LCD display with 144 Hertz refresh rate. And it could, it covers 45% of the NTSC color gamut. What are you laughing at? I was just gonna correct myself in the notes that I sent you. It is not 1080p plus, it's oh. just 1080p. Oh, it's 1080p. So it's 1080p plus whatever hugs you give it. Exactly. Um, it's got 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM at 4,000 mega transfer. You can do up to 32 gigs, which we can unlock today. Uh, it's a white backlit keyboard. The connectivity on this one, just to show you. So we have uh, US, two of these USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A. We do have a, I love this, a dedicated ethernet port, uh, which love is always, it, yeah. which I always love. And you have USB-C on the back. Nothing, unfortunately. So you are gonna have a little bit of octopusy, octopus, wow, I don't know why I said, I'm watching too much James Bond. Octopus with cables, HDMI on the side, you have another USB 3.2, USB-C, and there's your power right there. No SD slot, but in terms of thinness, you know what I mean? Very, very it's straightforward. Stuffy. Yes, sorry. <laughs> very, very straightforward in terms of the connection. Now the webcam on this is 720p, 30 frames per second. It's got two two watt speakers and one combo audio jack, 53.5 watt hour battery. It's Wi-Fi 6 and it is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection, 180 watt power brick, and it weighs 4.63 pounds. And it retails at 13.99, wow, it was higher, 13.99. So by the time we got all done, if we got all the upgrades tonight, that would be closer to a $1,500 laptop that we'd be giving away tonight on the stream. So if you guys want to start dropping those Prime subs, we can uh, we can unlock some more giveaways, um, some more powerful giveaway stuff, guys. Okay, so let's open it up so we can show you the inside and then what we're going to upgrade today. That is a question from El Solo Doctor. Does it only have one NVMe slot? No, it's got two, and you'll see that oh, in just a second. Okay, okay. So here we go. Let's pop this one open because this one's a little bit more reasonable. I'm excited to see this one because this is one that I did not get, get to see beforehand. I wish it was $13.99. Don't But we wait, all. there's more. Okay, so we're gonna take our trusty iFixit kit out. Our little separators here. This one is, a, it's not tricky. It does take some work, but we have already opened it. Now this one does have one different size screw, just as you know, just so you know. At least it's one, only one that's tiny. The rest of the screws are all the same size. A cat with eight legs. I don't even know where this conversation started. Like when I just look up and it says a cat with eight legs would be scary. I agree. Hi guys, I'm newish to streaming. Will this laptop run OBS? Yes, this laptop would run OBS with no problem. This could mobile stream with, with actually with ease, with NVEC, with NVEC plus the 13th, uh, the 13th gen CPU, you're gonna be fine. Okay, we're just opening all the, the connections here. E very easy to unscrew. It's a little bit, it is not as easy to open as the Titan, just so you know. Still pretty easy to open, but you definitely wanna make sure you're using the right tools. Do not use a laptop to pry this bad boy open. Having like a little iFixit or plastic separators like what I have here from iFixit are going to be 
very important for the first time you open this. Given this, this is the second time I've opened it, I may make it seem really easy, and that's just because I've cracked the seal. I would never use a laptop to open another laptop either. That would be impressive. I don't even know how it you do be. that. I, d I don't just know. Like You'd have to throw it at it. I use You'd my laptop to, to open other laptops. It's a really thin Ultrabook. Yeah. Yeah, it's very razor thin Ultrabook. Okay, get this out of the way real quick. Yeah, don't use, don't use things like flathead screwdrivers. No. So what I have a tendency no. to do is I just try to find like a seam spot, like right here. There's a great one. Get it in there. And then, yeah, you can see, it just kind of starts to pop apart. Just kind of use this to kind of go around. Yes, just use a very soft hammer. There we go. And there we go. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> As he breaks it. As I break it. Okay, so two M.2 slots. You can see the second one right there, which you guys have already unlocked. So we will put a one terabyte in there. So the question I have, guys, here's the deal. Can we in the next, in the next, can we in the next like five minutes before I close this, I want to put the RAM in. I want to basically test it with 32 gigs. Can we just have people, let's get those subs in there and let's put the RAM in right now and then I'll throw the one terabyte in and then it's switching out to a two terabyte be really easy. So this is up to you guys. You're seeing it. The RAM is right here, 32 gigs right here. We can upgrade this right now to Town Scott dropping it, trying to get it going. There's one ter there's one right there. And remember, I'm giving this away upgraded if we get to that. So we just need to go in there. Can we just get some subs going? Sergeant Nobody dropping five gifted subs. El Solo Doctor, Eternal Rage dropping a sub right there. Guys, we're at 92. Hype Train has now just started. Mystery dropping one in there. PC guy dropping a gifted sub. Now the hype train's going. If we can get this, then we'll upgrade this all the way. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting it so much. I'm gonna start prepping this to actually make it happen. Drop your prime you know, sub, all that sort of stuff, guys. I am so glad to see that right there because I watched some teardowns of some older stealth laptops. And as I was, as I was looking at those, you actually had to take the motherboard assembly completely out of the laptop. Oh, like, no, this one's easy. Yeah, I, yeah, I will say MSI. Yeah, MSI's done a really good job. Okay, guys, 109. We are less than 40 away, a little over 40. DMAT, thank you very much. Igor, 1980. And remember, if we get to level 10, we'll also give away 100 bucks. Electric Yoshi dropping one month at tier one. We are now at 110, exactly 40 subs left. And we will upgrade this RAM and start the process for the two terabyte. We can do it, guys. Uh, it, it, Bernie dropping two gifted subs. Honestly, it's it's all ebb and flow, guys, in terms of, there we go, prime sub right there, let's go. It's all ebb and flow on um, NVMe prices. It, it, they'll go back down, they'll go back up. The battery lasts, I don't know if you can see, if you can find like an average from a, we haven't had a chance to test it. This is going to be much more reasonable in terms of battery though. Absolutely. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put the one terabyte in there just to celebrate with you guys. I am JR, guys, 113, we're at level five. Let's get that, remember we need level, we gotta finish level five, we'll unlock a $25 new gift card. You guys can do this, and this gets you extra entries. If you drop your sub, you get extra entries towards winning this laptop as well. So that gets you three extra entries towards winning the laptop as well. We can do it, guys. I believe in us. I believe we can upgrade the RAM. This is the best time. Buffer Overflow, love that name. Space Bot. Okay, we're trying, we're almost to the $25 new A gift card now. Okay, so I'm grabbing this one terabyte. It might go to two terabytes, but 
We'll see, I'm gonna grab this one terabyte right now and put it in there, just so you guys can know, we're already gonna have a one terabyte additional NVMe drive in here. We're at the bit, we're getting close to the, we're getting close to unlocking that RAM, guys. <clears throat> okay, so you're gonna see me upgrade that. PC guy dropping five gifted subs. We are now only 30 subs away from that 32 gigs. You better come out. Okay, that's annoying. Get a bigger head. I am not finding anything conclusive on, on battery life. Well, what, did you, what was the ballpark you kind of said? Like four or five I didn't, hours? I didn't say. We, but is didn't. there nothing on there? There's not anything from MSI, no. I'm going, I'm trying to get this screw to come out. I'm gonna make it come out. Yeah, with the Core i5 and the 4060, it should have, you know, decent battery life. Ally News, we are now, guys, we are getting super close to being done here. Wow. It's happening. Wow. What do we have to get to 150? Yeah, we're close. And we've unlocked the $25 new gift card. Excellent. Well done, everyone. What we haven't unlocked is this beautiful, this NVMe is being troublesome. <laughs> well, that's not doing it either. How dare it. Don't worry guys, we will upgrade it no matter what. That is going to get fixed. I just don't know why this NVMe is so hard to get out. Try this one. 124 guys, let's get it finished. We can do it. I am trying very hard to get this NVMe to come, this, this one, it's like they glued it. I don't know. They wanted you work. They wanted you to work for that extra story. I mean, all in all, like I've never, like I've never had such an NVMe. I've never had one fight me so hard. Usually they come right out. Yeah, this thing is like really jammed in there. It is the final boss of NVMe drives. Yeah, it is. We can do it, guys. I'm working for you right now. I might have to, like, have somebody, like, do the... Well, it's like stock stock in there. Well, we have the storage, we'll get it in there. Okay, um, 24 subs to go, guys. I have the, uh, I have the RAM ready to go right here. ready to go to get it out. Put a dab of CA glue on the screwdriver and hold it on the screw, it will probably come out then. Yeah, we're, I'm, we're gonna have to do something to get it in there. I mean, it's not critical for today, but I just wanna show you that it's ready to go in and we'll, we'll get it installed 
before we give it, before we send it out, for sure. I promise. We just have to do some trickery. What did I do with the, oh, there it is, to get it in. And you know what? Honestly, maybe it's saying, hey, we're gonna have the two terabyte drive. Bourbon Guns, 127. We are there. Come on, let's get it. Last one. The hype train's over, it's fine. Let's just get, who's gonna throw the last 13 subs, right? No, no, it's it 23, 23. subs? It's okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do, if somebody does, if we get to 140, I'll call it. I just want to give it away. Let's get, let's get to 140. I'll put the little one a little bit further. Let's get to 140. Somebody just got to get to 140, guys. I'll drop it by 10 subs. We'll throw it in the RAM. I'm making it cheaper. I'll do 13 and then we'll, we'll throw in the RAM. Okay, well, let's put that in the right way. Who's gonna start it? It can even be prime subs. Your count is off. Pass well, Pastor, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to do something nice for these guys hanging out with us here this evening. Tur dog dropping it. It's the least I can do. Thank you. Okay. We're now super close, guys. Six more. You'd, ne you'd never make it as a Tijuana street. That's okay. I'm okay with not making it as a Tijuana street drive street vendor. If that's is that if that's the worst I get, great. <laughs> we put a man on the moon, but we can't easily secure a small circuit into a tiny board. No. Science is weird. Love that Max Rambone. One. We are at 135. One more. DMAT dropping two more. Anders dropping it. We are at 130. Turdog dropping five. Ah, okay. There we uh, go, guys. We 142. It's essentially I done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up the next level. But there we go. We're going to go 32 gigs. I have it on good authority. And that good authority being Tom. Thank you, Tom. Uh, that the battery life in this is four to six hours, depending on the configuration, such as brightness, you know, Bluetooth activity and connectivity, so on and so forth. So decent, decent uh, battery life in it. Okay, here we go, guys. You guys unlock this. No more green, all black, beautiful. 32 gigs. There we go. Gorgeous. 32 gigs of RAM in there now, guys. And that was all you. Pretty. That upgrade is crucial. Now, remember, there's still one upgrade left. Can you guys, can somebody just get us to 150, to 150 so we can be done? Because uh, it's driving me nuts. It's my bar's not full. I'm just like, I just, I don't like that the bar's not full. We can't do that to you. Okay, so there we go right there. Um, we're going to pop this in so we have our RAM in. There we go. Ram is in. Max Rambo, thank you very much for the one, the extra gifted sub. Now, we still, it's only 75 more subs. It's only 75 more subs. So if we get 75, sorry, it's, yeah, it's only 75 more subs. So it's less than what we just went through. Then we'll upgrade that one terabyte drive to a two terabyte drive. And then you will have, hey, Tom dropping it. And there we go. We're at 200, we're at 150. So I'm gonna update the giveaway. This would become a two terabyte NVMe drive. So if we get to 225, then we'll give away a two, we'll put a two terabyte drive in there once we get that screw out. We'll have to put like a dab of glue and then you can unscrew it and then we'll replace the screw and you'll have a beautiful two terabyte NVMe drive in there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put the cover back on though. 
and let's see how this bad boy performs now. Okay. Can we upgrade it to a desktop? Guys, if you want to enter to win a desktop, tune in on Tuesday. We're giving away a $5,000 system on Tuesday. The Sakura also, Special Edition Origin PC with a 14900K in it. And all of your gifted subs, all of those subs give you extra entries. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my wife saw that over my shoulder uh, when I pulled up the picture of that to, to check it out. And she was very, very impressed. Yeah, that thing is pretty. It's, it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. You'll see it. Yeah. So you're all of you guys who are subs, make sure you tune in because you get extra entries. Okay, just getting our things in and then we'll get it plugged in. 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe in, in now. Teal Rods 89, we good. No, no, uh, no problems there. Yeah, it's, it's not the whole bundle, just the PC. But we'll be showing off the whole bundle. Hi country, thank you for the prime sub. 29 months. He's the first one, only 74 more. And then we'll upgrade it all the way. Okay. That's all plugged in now. Nope, I don't think I have that all the way in. I think I have to put the back in. Oop. Let's do Whoa. that correctly. There's definitely a way to install to put this in correctly. And <laughs> that was not the way. Uh, we probably have about 45 more minutes in terms of length. Got to show you guys how this thing runs. Yeah, we got to show you, like, we got to get the excitement going, guys. Somebody, this is somebody's new laptop. Like, how cool is that? We got a kind of a behemoth build tomorrow, so this won't won't be as long as my normal ones. This is a very slim laptop. Hey, it's Nathan89. Oh, we're gonna show the 32 gigs of RAM. I just need to actually make sure the laptop's closed all the way. Because it's not right now. It's just what it, what the laptop is telling you is that it really wants to install that two terabyte NVMe drive. Yeah, well, if I could get the screw undone, I'd love to install it. But we're going to, yes, you're not wrong. Okay, there we go. So we got it all, now it's all seated correctly. So now we can put this all back in. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, I do. El Solo Doctor, I'm with you. I like that this doesn't have like the little bendy part that like has it kind of open up. Well, it also makes sure it seats right. You hear those clicks. It's clicking in. I just want to make sure that when we show thermals, we give we give it good thermals. I know we're going to put the NVMe in, we, but that's that's probably going to end up happening you know, off camera now because we have to pull the screw and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we'll make sure it's all squared before you get it. 
Yeah, guys, make sure that you, a couple things as you get ready to, as we get closer to the giveaway, a couple things. You do need to be a member of the Discord server, discord.gg slash robotech to, to be able to win. You do have to be following on Twitch, subscribed on YouTube. And that's kind of it. Those are the kind of the big things. So please make sure that you're doing those things in preparation as we get closer to the giveaway. Okay, there we go. It is now ready for you guys to see how gorgeous this PC is gonna run. Okay, power in. Let's grab our laptop. Gigabit Ethernet. There we go. Uh, Sergeant grab... Nobody is asking if the symbol lights up. I don't believe it does. It it's does just not. It. it does not, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, last part. Uh, count it. it. 178 is asking if the uh, winner can request that the lid of the laptop is autographed. Of course, yes, of course. Do you have a silver Sharpie around I there? I do, I do. I have. Yes. There you go. You know, we. I wonder. Do Do you have any of those Roby Cat stickers left? Oh yeah, we have. We have the special uh, ones. You can get oh, a hologram Roby Tech Roby Cat sticker too. Still have the uh, reflective Roby Cat stickers. Okay. So there we go, guys. Okay, let's get it open. It also comes with this beautiful thing that we'll give you as well. Okay, here we go. Turning it on, so you can see the cam. The so there's that white backlight that you get. It is, it does, again, not a lot of drift. This one has far less drift than the other ones. It says stealth through the little speaker at the back there. Oh, that's fancy. So it says say stealth from the, from the back. And there we go. And it is on. Oh, you old figment to dad joke. Oh, that's okay. Do that while we wait. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Wanna hear a joke about paper? Ah, never mind. It's terrible. Okay, that one's come oh. out. That's come out a lot. We'll do the next one. What days are the strongest? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one a lot. <clears throat> the exhaust is coming from the, uh, the exhaust is coming out of the side. The exhaust is on the side. I like that one a lot. The rest are weekdays. Okay, so here we are. So again, still, still a good screen. Uh, obviously, you can definitely tell that there is a there is a drop down in terms of colorness. It is an IPS screen, so you are seeing that. So just seeing your colors and stuff like that, it still looks nice. The one thing that's always hard when you drop from one, from as you go from like the highest end down is that you can definitely see a, uh, you know, you can definitely start to see a difference in terms of, in terms of the quality of the screen. So this is definitely part of the way that they save money is obviously on the tech that goes in the screen. It's still beautiful in terms of the colors and stuff like that, but you are seeing it's, it's a little bit more faded than what you're used to. Um, and again, this one's $13.99. Uh, let's look at Task Manager real quick. Oh, you know what I should do? Grab my... <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's look at our RAM there. So there we go, 5,200 megahertz. We got two of two and we've got 32 gigs of RAM right there. So there you go, you can see that right now, 32 gigs running at 5,200 megahertz. So there you go, your guys' upgrade is in and it's good to go there. Let's go ahead and install hardware info monitor. And that speed jump in that too is gonna be really, really nice yeah, for- Yeah, yeah, uh, it is. This is, I mean, this, a... this laptop is actually, it's, it's already, you guys are seeing me use it 
it's very zippy, right? Like it's, you yeah, know, it's, it's doing whatever we want it to do without any problem whatsoever, um, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna hit download. Again, 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. Uh, Mystery0114 is asking, how is RAM speed so high without XMP? So that's the thing that, something that's different about DDR5 is that the profiles are written on the memory controllers for the RAMs themselves. So you don't necessarily need XMP. So SODIMS, because of their, the way that they're done is that's what the, that's essentially what the BIOS is reading. So you don't have to set XMP. So when you buy SODIMS and they say that's what they're rated to run at and it, and, the, and it has a number of memory profiles and then the laptop finds what it runs at at the best speed and uh, with, um, and with uh, a stable. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in. It is very quiet. Like this thing is making no noise whatsoever. Okay, let's see. <laughs> It's okay. kind of like it's stealth. a stealth laptop. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw AI on this one for as well. But this thing is really quiet. Like I was going to ask that question if it did have the AI mode on yep. this one. Yep, okay, it does. fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Cinebench, which I don't think I installed. So we're gonna install Cinebench real quick. Uh, it's called the Wow Stick. Okay, we're just gonna wait for this to finish. Getting very close to doing the giveaway, guys. Okay, installing. Okay, so let's see how this runs. We're now gonna get an idea of what the temps are like, are like as well, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to. Roby, how would you describe the uh, the build quality of uh, of that laptop? It's very razor and Mac-ish. It's, it's aluminum, right? So it's got a okay. nice feel to it. It's, again, I, that's what I was when I was showing you the top down here. Like I was pushing, there's like no drift on this keyboard because of the aluminum body style. Nice. I, I like the stealth. Like it's, I mean, it, it feels actually less plasticky than the other two laptops that we've done. It feels more prosumer in terms of nice. the vibe. Does that, if that okay. makes sense, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Which is pretty cool. Aluminium. <laughs> Aluminium. Aluminium. Okay, so package temps, we're looking at idle temps are a little bit warmer than what we saw on the uh, <clears throat> on some of the other laptops. No, we are not going to install Razer. Go away. Yes, cancel. All right, so here we go. So let's give this a go. We're gonna see what the temps are like. Again, I still expect it to, it will throttle, right? That's just how they do. Give it a go. I expect this to be quite a bit less than what we have seen on a 14900HX. Remember, we're on an i5 now, guys. Okay, definitely hearing the fans now. Wow, look at those temps, though. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's staying fine. And loudness-wise, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's not going as fast as a 14900HX, but yeah. Okay, yeah, just like looking what? at our sound profile here. Definitely getting a little bit louder here. Like Org just said in the chat, this should be more than not enough for 1080p gaming. So it's about, it's about, it's a good three to four decibels less than what we saw on the other, on the other laptops.
But I will say, I will say, noise profile wise, it does sound quieter. It's almost like the air is being pushed down and back. So you don't okay. get it as front as much in your face as we have on some of the other ones. So, okay. <clears throat> I mean, all in all, dude, anybody who wins this, this is a nice laptop. <laughs> <laughs> And then for our Cinebench score, again, 1170, you know, 11728. Um, so we're seeing, you know, this is this is definitely not going to be as powerful ultra book, but you see how snappy it is and stuff like that. So productivity tasks, checking email, running, all that sort of stuff, and also gaming is kind of where this laptop is kind of focused at. Okay, so we got that now, and it still hit 55, 95, but yeah, in all in all temps wise, it was actually doing pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look. Go ahead. Uh, Teardog was asking, uh, if you're away from the network port, what's the Wi-Fi spec on this laptop? So it's Wi-Fi 6. This is a Wi-Fi 6 2 by 2 um, So you can expect uh, speeds up to about like 1.2 gigabits per second. Does that sound about right? Yep. Yeah, this should play, this should be able, so we're gonna show the same games. We're gonna first tell Steam to stop being dumb. I think, I really don't like this library thing where it says, don't show me Steam, don't show me. Okay, so let's throw Hogwarts Legacy in this. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna, if you run this thing on wireless, I don't think you're going to find that you have issues with it. No, not at all. I have it. I have it on. I have it on Wi-Fi specifically, just because if I decide I want to download a game or anything, I, I mean, on wired, you're going to get much faster connections. Yeah. Shaders are going to take a little while, guys, but we can, while we're doing that, show you guys the heat profile, which on this one is going to be pretty minimalistic. Yes, Goat Popsicle, you're right. Yep, and that's one of the things that we really love about this laptop. It's it, This is a great travel machine. Okay, so looking at the top here, you're looking at, I mean, temp wise, I mean, you there's no, like you can touch this entire thing, even up at the hottest parts. I'm touching this without any, like no heat issues whatsoever. At the worst, we're looking at 37. Yeah, 37 degrees Celsius, but that's, I mean, you're getting some of that like from inside of the laptop, but yeah, this is having like no problem whatsoever in terms of uh, being able to, to heat wise and stuff like that. I, well, I guess it's not focusing all that well. It looks like it's focused a little bit better. I'm trying to see if I can. Get to focus a little bit better. There you go. Hey, so let's flip it over real quick. <laughs> Ghost GTM, I love it. It's like, yeah, it's not a nice laptop. In fact, just throw it away. Just aim high and a few hundred miles in my direction. Yeah, exactly. I love, I always love those jokes. They never get old. Okay, so let's look at the other side. You can put this on your lap, no problem. I will just say that flat out. It's not as big. You don't have as much danger of the sweaty business. No, we're looking at 35 degrees at like kind of the warmest part. And again, my hand is on that, no problem. I don't even know if you'd get any uh, weird sweat issues with that one. And again, good dissipation between the entire thing. It also has a few, a centi a few centimeter thick bar. So, I mean, you're gonna get some height off of this for sure. Um, off of the actual, so you'll get some elevation, but if you play with this on your lap, you absolutely could. And especially if you're gonna do any productivity work or stuff like that, you're not gonna have any issues whatsoever. Okay, how did I do this? That's like, sometimes I'm wondering like, how did it's I? Only, it's only slightly balmy. I don't even know how I did that. How did you do that? I don't even know. That's impressive. That's impressive. Okay, there we go, okay. I did it. I turned it back around. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, let's get the audio to play through the right thing so we can hear how the speakers sound. Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I was not expecting that kind of soundscape. Oh, and that's not even all the way up. Ooh, wow. Okay, I will say, sound music-wise, this has a really rich sound to it. And we are gaming now, so the fans are picking up, but they're not bad. There was a question a little bit uh, back asking how the uh, the touchpad on this feels. Uh, it's smooth. Again, it's that aluminum, so the, the actual touchpad on it feels really nice. Like, you don't, like, I'm not, like, not noticing anything weird. Like, I actually, I, I kind of, I secretly, I kind of like it more than the, um, the Titan, because I, I don't know, I, as much as the haptic is it is nice for that, I find myself using mouse more, but the, this one, it's nice and smooth, no drift, it moves very easily, so yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice sear soft. Okay, so now we are waiting for the beautiful, waiting for the beautiful, uh, Shaders, as always. The bottom is also aluminum, yes. Now guys, remember we have upgraded to 32 gigs of RAM. We've upgraded to one terabyte NVMe. If we want to add that two terabyte, which makes this a great gaming desktop, but we get the laptop at this point in time, we still need about 73 more subs, but we have upgraded this quite a bit already. I think so. Zelda, I don't think this will have any problems. 91 degrees is, I mean, there's a lot of ambient wise that's not that bad. Um, yeah, you could use a laptop. You might see a little bit warmer, but it should still be manageable. Okay, shaders are almost done. Man, the sound on this is actually really good. I always am surprised, right? Because like you, like when you play it, so we're on ultra. Let's go to display. We're gonna run it on quality now. Let's turn frame generation off just so we can see. Motion blur is off, depth of field. Okay, everything else is good. Okay, so let's go escape. And you guys are seeing how quickly this loads. I feel like we all have a little like past laptop trauma of using a laptop that has horrible speakers. Yeah, and this then does we not have, have horrible speakers. And then when we get good ones, we're like, what is this? I can't believe it. So understand guys, we are playing on a 4060. This is ultra quality in the worst place. We're looking at, you know, again, no stuttering, which is the whole VRAM thing. That's for another day. Um, we're not seeing any <laughs> stuttering. Um, and again, I mean, close to 60. Now, I would throw frame gen on this, right? Because you know you can. So let's go and throw some frame gen on this. You, so that way you just get north of 60 the entire time. There we go, 88, 90. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, there like, guys, go. we I'm are looking. playing. We're playing Hogwarts at max. This laptop you can throw in your backpack. It's quiet. The soundscape is nice. Like in this is an enjoyable gaming experience. 
Look at the majesty. It, which is awesome. I mean, I'm so somebody is going to be very happy when they win this. The Krakatoans asks, should I shoot for consistent 60 frames per second or should I try to match FPS to my monitor's refresh? No, so monitor refresh, again, monitor refresh is, um, you have what's called variable refresh rate. So again, if you use V-Sync or you have a G-Sync or free, uh, FreeSync compatible monitor, then your, mo your, your monitor will allow it to stay synced. Right, so you shouldn't. You should actually worry. Let you run your VSync, and then at the same time, try and get your game at the fastest resolution. But if you if you need to be north of 660 and north, right? So please don't drop down. Uh, try and keep it at six, at least 60. What do you mean? Do we ever hear back from the winners? What does that mean? I mean, guys, post like go on, go on. Actually, if you want to go on. Discord the other day, one of the winners after a year just jumped on there and was like, hey, what's going on? And uh, somebody's asking, can you do combat? Guys, I'm literally in the worst performing zone, which is Hogsmeade. So I'll run in where there's a bunch of people. So you can see it with their bunch of people, which is, it's, it's gonna be on par with combat. The laptop is 144 Hertz, right? Isn't the refresh rate 144? That is correct. Yeah, yes. it's 144. So yeah, playing FPS games on this, COD, all those sort of things is gonna be great. Especially if you're using like low visual settings and maximizing for frame rate. I mean, we're running freaking almost 100 frames per second on, I, I forgot where Hogs, oh, there it is. I was like, where's Hogsmeade? This is ultra. This is a great game. Oh, I got a quest update, Prisoner of Love. <clears throat> I really do need to play this game. You really do. I was enjoying it and then... And then another game released. Yeah, I'm gonna have... Okay, I've lost Hogsmeade. I'm too stupid. Oh, I'm like <laughs> way over there, okay. You're just going on a little adventure, that's all. Uh -huh. And loading wise, I mean like you're looking at loading times. I mean, this is NVMe and stuff like that, of course, right? And we're putting in a Gen 4, I mean, 7,200 megahertz, so like loading and all that sort of stuff. But here you go. We're in Hogsmeade now. Lots of characters. And we're getting 85, 90 frames per second. Uh, Lich, this does not have RGB. It has white. It so has, it has white. All the colors all mixed together to make one uber color there called go. white. There you go. So yes, it has all of the RGB. So there you go. Just all, all on together at the same time. Okay, so there you go. There's some performance. There's there's basically that right there. There's there's a uh, Hog, um, Hogwarts Legacy. Let's uh, let's give a let's give a look see at uh, Assassin's Creed real quick. Living Monsters, thank you for the sub. Does it support glide? I don't know what that, what? Do I not, did I not? Oh guys, I may uh -oh. not have uh, downloaded. What? Well, maybe, we'll find out, we'll find out. I, th I remember doing it, so I think I just didn't log in. I think it's, uh, I forgot to hit the remember me. <laughs> 3 dfx glide. This <laughs> is what they're I was referring like, to. I was like, dude, okay, you I, like it's it's too it's too late for me to to remember that stuff. I do love to see in the in the chat. There was a question a while back about you know do do winners still hang out here and winner surprises and I saw a bunch of people talk about like different things that they've won gift cards and you know and hardware and, and whatnot and I had to sit back and chuckle to myself and think huh yeah I actually won an Elgato uh, capture card from you when you were still doing power builds and now I work with you so 
turned out pretty all right. I stuck around. Ted, don't leave this community. <clears throat> okay, it's loading now. I did download it. I didn't fail you. Let's go. Do we have a bead on where the best place to track inventory for 4080 supers is? Oh, dude, right now it's been it's been hard. Ooh, I heard throat. that I heard that uh, stock will be better in March. OK. People are wondering, are you guys thinking the giveaways are fake? Sergeant Nobody won the Sergeant Nobody won the St. Patrick's build. Uh, Riddick won the Riddick won one of the PCs that he has. I was like, what? I was like, what? Who's who's calling my giveaways fake? I give away all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> okay. I was like, no, the giveaways are real. <clears throat> Uh, we pull, we use Steam, we use um, 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 <clears throat> a Labs OBS. <clears throat> that, that, that drawing is Saturday. We'll announce the winner for that Saturday. <clears throat> okay, guys, that sound, I mean, I'm just saying, that sound is good. Oh, Blondie. So oh. many winners in Oh, I just tonight. wanted to make sure. If you're joking, that's fine. Let's go and do, uh, I'm gonna go and do the two $25 new gift card giveaways just because we're getting close to the end of the stream. <clears throat> Exclamation point, new egg now. And we have two $25 new egg gift cards. Draw, starting that drawing right now. Okay, this whole thing, it's like, man, this bot has just been, I mean, <clears throat> giveaway has started, guys. Two minutes while we show this one, and then afterwards we will uh, we will get ready to do the giveaway. Before uh, you did, you started the giveaway, there were some concerns for your mortality, and they said you should drink. Oh, I did, I did, I did drink, okay. Okay, okay. Whew. I was like, dude, okay, thank you for caring about my mortality. Okay, I mean, let's weird, check our settings weird, weird. here. Okay, so I'm gonna try I, Ultra. Just because I want to. We're gonna change it off. We're gonna change it to DLSS. I'm gonna change this to quality. And then I'm gonna hit apply. We're gonna see how this goes. I ain't, tell, I ain't letting the game tell me what I can and cannot do. You're an adult. That's right. Just throw it on the ground. Exactly. Twenty seconds, guys. Twenty seconds. Okay, let's see how this goes. Well, right now it's at 185 frames per second. That seems really good. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that high, but. <laughs> Barely playable. Wow, okay, 113. Let's go. 
Sheesh. Wow, that is better. I mean, like, it's ultra. Okay. Like, when it said high, I was like, oh, maybe it'll be, like, maybe it won't do. But this is, like, 115. Wow. That's great. I was not expect. I was expecting... I thought maybe I'd have to play with it, but you don't have to play with it at all. You can just play ultra and you're good to go. Are you seeing any odd particle effects? Yeah, but that's it from the that's from my okay. my weapon. Uh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> I have one of those special collector's edition weapons. Okay. I have a I'm special, Damien. You are. I'm special you and that's what you're not seeing. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, to our two winners. I'm going to refresh because it's being stupid. Congratulations to uh, Baz Bazula and D Daedalus. Daedalus272, you are the winners of the $25 gift cards, guys. Okay, guys, we are getting ready. We're very close. I am just going to say, uh, if you don't win this laptop, and you're looking for a laptop. This is a very impressive specimen for 1300 bucks. You know, we're obviously running a little bit faster because we've got 32 gigs of RAM in this right now, but yeah, this is running great. And look at those temps, 92, which is still under control. The, 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 um, there's almost no fan noise, which is also impressive. So it's got a nice fan curve. So if you're gonna game on this thing, you don't have to put headphones on, you can just game. And if, if this is one of those things you just want to drop in a backpack and uh, if you just want to drop in a backpack and just go play and then do your work and all that stuff, this is a great like everything type of laptop. So this, I'm, re I'm really, really impressed. Yeah, this really is like the the perfect laptop for like the modern minimalist, right? Like this is for the person who is you know taking it on the go to coffee shops or in airports this is like if you are a college student or have a college student in your life that needs you know a laptop that they can take class take notes and then be powerful enough to game at night like this is a this is a really really good balanced laptop for that yeah and some people were saying like hey i'd get you know x y z laptop again we're, we're showing you hardware and stuff like that just to give you ideas there's always going to be, you know what I mean? Just because we show we you these favorites. laptops, these are not the only choices, you know what I mean? I'm just saying like, these are the first, I've played a lot with other brands. Um, I'm very, like I have, I might, the first one I actually have a friend of mine, uh, Andy the Lab, and I hadn't played with a MSI laptop ever. And then I got to play with an MSI Raider. And just like the Titan, I was really impressed with the fact that that had a 4090 in it and the soundscape was completely manageable. I was like, I want to borrow this laptop. Unfortunately, she <laughs> gave it to somebody else to borrow and I never got to, but still, I was actually really impressed with the laptop. So when MSI gave me the chance to do this video and showcase these laptops to you guys, which is our whole point, right? This is not a review. I mean, we're obviously, these are, this is a sponsored stream. So I want to show you things, right? And so I want to make sure that we're giving you an overview, telling the things I like. You're having like real, real world kind of, uh, uh, feedback. We haven't put these through a review process yet. I don't know if we ever will. It just depends. We have a lot of work to do. Um, but still, from what I have got to see, I'm very impressed, especially with this laptop. I love, let me just be honest, of all of the laptops, if I could have one, that Titan is amazing because the gaming, it, it does a great job of keeping itself quiet. It's got a 4090 and that screen, that mini LED screen is beautiful. But I... I don't want to lug that around. That's going to give me back problems. Um, so <laughs> it, this is something that you could definitely throw in your bag and take wherever you want. And for 1300 bucks and probably on sale at, you know, at a later point and stuff like that, this is a great option. So very, very impressed with the laptops are going there. Now guys, we have one other thing we're going to do this, and this is, you know, it helps our sponsor, uh, which is uh, in this case, because um, we have three, we have Intel. Uh, Newegg and MSI, but I want to give we got we want to give in, uh, Newegg a little love here. So we wanted to talk about deals real quick. So huge shout out to Tom for these. So if you're looking for a uh, Kingspec XG 7002 terabyte NVMe drive, haven't used these guys before. Uh, 6600 megahertz, two terabytes for 100 bucks. 
So if wow. you get this laptop and you're like, hey, Roby, I want to uh, throw a two terabyte in because we weren't able to unlock the two terabyte giveaway, 100 bucks and there you go. That's a beautiful two terabyte drive. MSI Vigor GK71 mechanical keyboard. I haven't used a lot of their keyboards, but right now $89.99 and this has got those sonic blue switches. I love this, I, one of my favorite white motherboards though. MSI MPG Z790 Edge Wi-Fi uh, motherboard, uh, $319.99 right there. Um, so that's a good price for that board. ASRock Phantom Gaming PG27Q 15, 27 uh, inch QHD, so that's a 1440, 165 hertz monitor with a Wi-Fi antenna and FreeSeq Premium on sale 189.99. So if you're looking for a great 1440p mm. monitor, uh, Tough Gaming RX 7800 XT Overclock Edition uh, on sale 499.99 wow. for a 7800 XT. Wow, that is a great price for that GPU. If you're looking for a good GPU, and then if you're looking for an MS, if you're looking for a 4070, uh, you have a 4070 Super right there, 669.99. So the, the eternal question, Roby, do I get a 7800 XT or do I get a, a 4070 Super? The question is, do you play a lot of single player games or do you only really play a lot of uh, competitive games and you want to save money? Then Ace, the uh, AMD might be a better option for you, but if you play a lot of single player, like Assassin's Creed's, your Starfields, your um, Cyberpunk's, those sort of things, then the Super is gonna be a better option for you. So that's really kind of the way you break it. But it's you, it's your gaming habits that determine the best GPU for you. So anyway, or both, you could put both in and just switch. So yeah, uh, that's the MLG version of the 4070 Super. Oh, okay. It, look at that thing though, dude. It's got like, look at that. It's got like, it's got, look at all this stuff. It's the Slim MLG one and it's got like a, a monster on it and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more expensive than a regular one. Yeah. You're paying for the anime. Yeah, you're paying for the day. anime and the other stuff on it. That is fair. But Tom, I, it's still, I just wanted to let people know because they always ask that question. <clears throat> is the website, not that I know of the website's not acting up. Anyway, guys, that is it for the stream. Just kidding. <laughs> I know you guys are like, what? <laughs> Your giveaways are fake. No, they're not. Okay, let's give away the laptop. <gasps> let's give away the laptop time. Real quick before we jump into this, just real quick before we jump into this. Uh, yeah, my DMs will blow up. Real quick before we jump into this. First and foremost, you gotta be on Discord, discord.gg slash Robitech. Second, you gotta be subscribed on YouTube. You gotta be following on Twitch. So make sure you do that too. Uh, make sure those three things are good because we, you have to be doing, have all those things done if you're gonna win. I'm gonna run this for th three minutes. Run this for three minutes. Uh, remember, three minutes. if you subscribe, if you subscribe, you get additional entries. You do not need to be a subscriber to win, but if you do subscribe, you get additional entries. Other thing too, Canada, Mexico, US, you're good to go. If you're outside of that area, then you basically need to, uh, you, you basically need to pay for customs and for shipping, okay? So, unfollow, unsub. So that is all of the stuff, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get the giveaway set up. So please calm down. Magic is happening. Mark H and NC, thanks for the, the sub there. Make sure you drop your prime sub. And remember, that sub will also get you additional entries towards winning that Origin Intel PC that we're giving away on Tuesday, live on stream. We're gonna be building that and giving that away on Tuesday, as well as get you entries to win this uh, MSI sub only PC that's right back here. Uh, if you drop your, if you do a prime sub, it's one entry, tier one, two, three entries, tier two, five, tier three, 10, and every gifted sub gets you an additional entry, okay? So that is that. We're gonna do exclamation point. MSI, exclamation point MSI. Three minutes on this, guys. Three, oh, sorry, three, we'll do three minutes. Starting that giveaway right now, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, so what's coming up on Roby Tech tomorrow? We are back building an epic 
all white height Y70 commission build with all of the RGB you can add. It's got streamers, it's got all the, uh, all the Corsair IQ stuff, it's got everything you could jam into this build. That's gonna be happening tomorrow, including that beautiful uh, 4K, a half 4K screen that's also on the height Y70 touch. All white mm -hmm. build's gonna be absolutely awesome. So you're gonna wanna tune in tomorrow starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And then we are back again on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, we're gonna be giving, doing that Sakura uh, special edition RTS Origin build. We're gonna be showing off that, that bundle that you can get from Origin PC. Uh, you have a chance to actually win that PC. We're gonna be building it and showing, casing it off live here on the channel. Then on Thursday, we're gonna be showing off the brand new 6500X from Corsair. That's gonna, and we're gonna be giving away a Corsair 6500X per, uh, winner's choice from the team at Corsair. So it's a great week to tune in and make sure that you watch the additional bills. So that's Thursday, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And then Saturday, we're going to be doing a Gamatus build, which actually should be pretty cool. So that is what's coming up on Robitech. Should be a lot of fun and should be a great experience. So make sure that you guys mark your calendars, check socials, all that sort of stuff, so you guys know um, as things are happening. So it should be should be a really, really good, good weekend. And also, enjoy the three-day weekend if you're in the United States, right? President's Day. What are you going to do for mm -hmm. President's Day, uh, uh, Damien? You get the day off. I am. <laughs> I'm actually helping uh, my wife move her classroom. That's right. To another Didn't classroom. you ask for a day, and then in the I end did. you got it anyway? Because it's a I day did. Off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much how that one worked out. So, yeah, she's got to move classrooms mid-year. So it's unfortunate, but we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be rocking and rolling with that on Monday. So it works out. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, enjoy and have a safe uh, three-day weekend. If I don't see you on tomorrow's stream. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be a heck of a build, guys. So if you get a chance, yeah. you definitely want to tune in for that. Um, yeah. No, it's going to be good. All of, all of the RGB, you yeah, said. Yeah, all. It's got all the RGB. Every, Every bit of RGB you could ever want. Bit of RGB. Okay, guys. What? Still going. To oh. Twenty-eight seconds left. If you remember subs, you get extra entries. Twenty-eight seconds left. And and per Blondie, please don't spam. Yeah, do Nobody not spam. People got spam. timed out and then they weren't able to win. So don't don't spam because you can actually time yourself out. The other oh, thing too is that we do have, and I want to let you guys know, uh, if you find if we come to find out, we do have some comp some people who are doing some illicit things with trying to win giveaways. Uh, we've been investigating that and working with some other people um, on trying to enter that. So if you are one of those people who has been banned from other from other uh, giveaway sites you know what i mean really like nvidia fine. and other ones because you're creating multiple accounts and trying to get around the system uh we we know who you are and if you win and uh we, you may not get your prize so just as an fyi because we want this to be for the usual folks just be like everybody else enter with your one or two accounts and be good okay okay Anyway, congratulations to... Now, do not leave yet, because we have to verify the winner. Congratulations to Corporate Peanut. Corporate Peanut okay. 1021. That's a great name. That is a good name. Well, I mean, if it's like people who are on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't, we, we don't, we, we're not gonna, I, I don't know, I don't even know what to say to that, but um, I can't, we can't get everybody, but people who go and create 53,000 accounts, so yeah. Congratulations, Corporate Peanut. Okay, we're gonna, I'm waiting for the text to let them know if we won, because we might have to redraw. Guys, this takes a little while to confirm that that's the actual winner. So please don't like, be like, Roby, is it, is he, did we, did he confirm yet? I don't know, we take some time. Calm down. And Mark H say, my salary is corporate peanuts. <laughs> We're confirming, guys. Stand by. We may have to redraw. And we will redraw if that's the right thing to do. Watch it be some kid who's like panicked. I won! And then like doesn't know what to do. I, it's a funny story. One time when I was young, <laughs> 
I, and this is before many people's time. There used to be these things where you could call in for radio stations. Actually, yeah. I, they still do them. And one they of them do. was like a quiz thing. And I didn't know the answer, but I, of course, wanted to call in and see because it was I was winning something. I remember I, wa I got through. And they were like, what is the answer to the question? And I was like, I don't know. And then so like I was like, hold on. And then I left and then I didn't know. And then I ended up having to... Uh, I ended up having to, uh, like, you heard it. They played it on the radio over and over again because I just hung up because I was panicked. Oh, so, like, no. they played it on the radio for, like, months. This, like, me, you could hear me say, hold on. And then I just hung up, and they were like, oh, that's hilarious. So, anyway, guys, uh, the winner is confirmed. Blondie did say winner confirmed. Congratulations to Corporate Peanut. You are the winner of this beautiful MSI Stealth laptop. Huge shout out to everybody for joining us tonight. Um, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you love this content. We're back to our regularly scheduled program starting tomorrow where we're doing a beautiful height Y70 build. And then guys, Tuesday, tune in, giving away an epic, epic PC, 14900K, 4090, all of the bells and whistles, and all of that is happening on when on Tuesday. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you set your timer, 4 p.m. Pacific time. That should be a great, great stream. Anyway, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Really appreciate all you guys being here, and we'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye, guys.